I haven't, password again. I haven't updated uh, since you last played, and it took me about three minutes. <laughs> my update only took yeah that long, but I'm trying to get my password. Something's wrong with my contact, I'll be right back. Oh my god. It's happening, boys. It's hap hap happening. I'm ready. I think I might be ready, boys. I'm even live on my own Facebook. Oh. Two minutes. Two minutes. You better be ready. Is up, useless at gaming. Good to see ya, man. Good to see ya. Dear quit. Dear fucking quit. That's all right, man. I don't want to cut into your D&D &D time. Oh, there it is. That is extremely loud. Is it? That is fucking loud. Sorry. <laughs> I'll have to figure out a way to, uh... Fix my ears now? Yeah, yeah. no shit. Yeah, too. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> It just it just plays the sound. I don't know how to uh I have it automatically playing. Coming from my computer. My bad. I'll try to uh get that figured out. That wasn't too loud, was it? One beer, please. So I got myself one of these uh 
Bud Light seltzers? I don't like them. Hello? Test one, two, can you hear me? Yeah, I can hear you. Okay. Any of you guys try so, the Bud Light seltzers? Just for my notes, um, Adoku and the Harry, the Paladin and the Invoker, what races are they? Um, Harry is a dwarf, and Adoku is a human. Ooh, I like your nice. setup, Adam. That looks nice. Don't mind the mess on the desk. Nah, I can't see it. I like your flooring. That's the just color I want in. for my floors, but I don't think Brianna wants that. <laughs> we'll just put it in. Looks good. Yeah, Bud Light Seltzer. I don't know. I'm not... I'll drink a White Claw, you know, if, if, if you know what a White Claw is. But I tried this Bud Light Seltzer, and it's just fucking terrible. But I've only had Black Cherry so yet, so far, so... You're going to try all the flavors. Some of them are good and some of them are bad. Yeah, I don't know. It's not so bad anymore now that I'm drinking it. But when my first taste, it uh, it tasted like Bud Light with fucking like cherry juice in it. <laughs> it's fucking disgusting. You don't have White Claw there? <laughs> oh, man. <laughs> the Claw is the law. Ooh. Get some ambiance going. All right. Let's see. We What's need um, Nexus. Capital N. Nexus. We need Khan and Caleb in the map yet. Authorization failed. Uh oh. It's the Nomad one, right? Or yeah. Nomad twenty eight. The... <laughs> yeah, you got Guinness where you're at. I'll drink a good Guinness. I like I like stouts. Guinness a good stout. Talking to. Me. I am useless at gaming. This guy's the shit. He's from from Ireland. He's on my Twitch. Says hi. Hello. I got update. Oh man, you got to update. <laughs> That's gonna take forever. <laughs> nah, I'm already almost done. Okay. Yeah, it's done updating. <laughs> All right, just waiting for you guys to get in. Let's see. Nexus with the capital N. Huh? Yes. Are you guys getting a lot of background noise here or no? No. Okay. I'm not hearing it. I got my speakers off, so my mic should just, only be picking up my... Uh... I, I have the TV playing in the background. I just didn't want you guys to listen to that, too. <laughs> Oh, Guillermo's here. Oh, is he? He's in the, uh, he's in Fantasy Grounds. Okay, house, uh... Probably stuck on a roundabout somewhere. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Nexus. Okay, I should be in. Acquiring file list. How do I... Oh boy. 
Grim Bong Ripper, what is up, man? Good to see you. <laughs> the Grim Bong Ripper. Yep, that is his name. <laughs> All right, I'm in. You're in? All right. Yep. Let me Have the map open. Just see something real quick. Oh, jeez. got everybody holy shit we actually have everybody we can start on time everybody's good this is amazing ish, ish. <laughs> oh yeah you keep that name man grim bong ripper <laughs> this is a great name <laughs> this is a great name he's had it since he was 17 i ain't even blaming you all right so Hello, and welcome to session eight of the Siege of Borgen's Watch adventure, where we return from a long, long, long six week hiatus. Too long. It's been forever since we got to play some D&D together. So this is the second adventure in the Scales of War adventure path set for fourth edition Dungeons and Dragons. We use Fantasy Grounds Unity, as you can see, this thing right here it's still in beta mode so therefore not reflective of the actual gameplay of the engine tonight we have a whole crew with us starting with a flying cock Veger playing the deva wizard we have concob playing the deva avenger osiris we have lyle playing the half elf cleric guy we have lucky Number 03, which is a human paladin playing a Dokal. We have Sauerkraut, a rogue of Dwar of Drow Descent playing Malagar. And then we have Who This Is, which is a Dwarven Invoker playing Harry. So thank you guys all for showing up right away, ready to begin. I know you've been waiting for a while. All right, so to start, I will roll for the Historian. Caleb, you are the historian for this time. Have you even made one yet? Nope. I don't nope. think Caleb's ever made it. All right, you are the historian for this match. I will, I'll be looking forward to that. Yeah, it'll be great. Oh, <laughs> All right, so a few notes. Make sure you're not drunk when you do it. <laughs> That'll be the I'm only way that had, he can remember. <laughs> I've already had about six bushlight apples, so... He'll have to be drunk in order to remember the session. <laughs> writing from notes. writing from drunk memory. <laughs> Just record it. So a few notes, real quick. Um, I learned a few helpful things on uh, on Fantasy Grounds that I kind of want to share. If you guys would find them useful, um, there's like a you know how we have the pointers where you can make the lines and the circles and stuff. You can actually make like a temporary one by holding down the right and left mouse button together, and then if you hold down Control. Shift or Alt, so that'll do, excuse me, uh, different pointers. So, like, if you want to just point to something, you can use the um, double mouse click drag to point it to me. Or if or if you have a power and you just want to, like, check your area real quick. Um, so it'll be left on the map, and then once you hit those buttons again, that'll clear. Um, also, um, if we ever make mistakes, so, like, if you forget to target somebody, it's fine because I, I figured out that I can actually drag things from the chat box to the combat tracker, so that should speed some uh, some things up a little bit. Handy. Yeah, pretty, pretty handy. So without further stalling on this, let's begin. All right. Okay. Map, map load up. 
Double right. click your character portrait and you should be able to pull up the map. Drake! What's up, man? Thanks for showing up. What map is it? Uh, yeah. Double click your character portrait in the top left and it should bring it up. It's not doing it. It's not? Okay. Nope. nope. Negative. It, it should, uh, just it doesn't. No, no hmm. idea. Maybe it's still a recent patch or whatever. That might be. It doesn't. That's weird. All right. So you guys should have that map open now. Yeah, I see you're on. Opening. You now stand victorious over the burning corpse of the troll and bloody beaten forms of the orcs. The stench of gore and vile refuse that is unmistakable for a troll permeates the chamber. You look to the western end of the room and see an altar flanked by two great statues overseeing rows of pews. The statues depict dwarven warriors pl wearing plate armor and wielding hammers. At the base of the altar, bloody corpses litter the ground. Their limbs snapped, bones exposed from the flesh seeming to have been ripped or gnawed away. You can only guess what the troll was doing in this chamber. Harry, go ahead and make a perception check. I don't see anything on the map. You don't see anything? No, I see the map came up, but it's... There's no yeah, map. it's it's basically just brown. It's the same for me. Yeah, it doesn't oh show anything. Oh my god, what Maybe happened? You guys load? Maybe it's... I don't know. I can see shit on it. Yeah, mine's good. I, can see I, don't, I don't see their characters on the map, so that's, that might be why. Yeah, I see me, Vagar, and Maligar. That's it. Uh oh, yeah, this ain't good. Hmm. This ain't good. This does not bode well. Do you, do you see their characters on the map, Ryan? I see everything. So I see you guys, I see the map. Hmm. You didn't kill us already, did you? No. <laughs> <laughs> Got a head start. Hmm. Should we try reloading? Everybody do an update real quick. Can you try adding them to the map again? They're on the map. You take us off and add We only got map. Osiris, Malagar, and me on the map. Let's see. Kick them and try to reinvite them. Yeah, maybe oh. that was why I couldn't guy. double click on my... Oh, okay, guys there. Guys now. Or Gee. Okay, yeah, I'm just uh, deleting you guys and putting you back on. And now I can see something. Okay, yeah, that's Goku. weird. I knew it. Do you see Khaled? Yeah. Yep. Okay. That's all six of us now. So you have. There okay. Is. So you all see yeah. the map now? You're all good? Yes. Yeah. No, okay. Like... Good, good, good. Crisis averted. All right, Harry, I need you to roll me a perception check. Here we go. Ooh. Oh, wow. Yeah. Good start. That is very nice. Uh, where is this? So, when you look to the west side of the chamber, you notice the altar, same as everybody else. Right here. Okay. But, it's, you notice it's shining brilliantly, almost as if Morden was calling for you to purify this chamber. What would you guys like to do? Uh, guys, that altar up over there is shining. Yeah. <laughs> you gotta tell us. So, should we... I wanna get close. Alright. Alright. Harry. When you step up right next to the altar, you feel this um this strong presence kind of envelop you in 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 divine grace and you feel morden speaks to me yes <laughs> morden speaks to you osiris upon closer inspection stepping up to the altar nothing seems different to you it's just a 
an altar, a uh, place of worship. Mm, interesting. You might have to do with the uh, little dwarf. Here. So I'm just, I'm just feeling comforted. Or <laughs> you're, I you're suppose. feeling a little more powerful. So if you had been standing next to this during the battle, you would have gained a, po- a plus two power bonus to attack rolls until the end of the ac- encounter. Uh, you feel like you're a foot taller. <laughs> Should we uh, try to take that confidence. altar? Should we try to take that altar so that way you always have it with you? <laughs> What's on top of it? There's no way we can bring the whole altar with us. <laughs> Just roll an altar on with us. Put in your pouch. Yeah. Wheel it around. Just put it in your pouch. Put it in your pouch. Just stretch that opening up nice and wide. Right. Should we look <laughs> at some the other statues? What's on top of the altar? Um, incense and, and some uh, religious symbols and, and imagery. Some things yeah. that that you would probably find um, they use in their in their prayers and worship of Moradin. Can I check these statues? These yes. So the statues in the room stand about fifteen feet tall, and they depict dwarven warriors, heads bowed as if in prayer or reflection. They're carved so that the warriors look like, look like they're wearing plate armor, and both are armed with hammers. Like real hammers? No. It's all it's all carved out of stone. Okay. Hmm, uh... I should have visited my people here long ago. What is this big old statue? Hammer? Or is this just a... That is... That is a mosaic on the floor. Depicting uh, a, yeah. the the holy symbol of Moradin. Where you guys want to go? Well, first lads, you seem to be some a bunch of eager adventurers. We just came out of a fight. Let's heal up first. How about it? That sounds also, good. please don't step on the symbol of Moradin. It's a sign of respect. <laughs> not doing that. <laughs> yes. Then why they put it on the floor? To make you walk around it. <laughs> with Guy. <laughs> so Guy would uh, plant up a battle standard of healing and use his second uh, healing word on Osiris. Okay. Osiris. Osiris, sorry. Yes. Very nice. Ooh. 15. Nice. Touch of the heels. Oh, nice. And because of the battle standard, everybody heals for two hit points. Very nice. Thanks. And after that, for, you know, uh, regaining encounter powers or something like that, uh, I guess he would sit down on a bench here and uh, pray to Moradin or something. <laughs> Why don't you go to the altar and pray? <laughs> I'd like to take a minute and pray. Okay. Um, take a little rest here. Yeah, I'll take a little rest. Okay, give me one second. I have to fix something. So I think I missed something in translation. Oh, yeah, I did. Okay. Just give me one second so I can get this stuff. I knew it was weird that you guys haven't gotten items in a while. <clears throat> okay, so... When you uh, look at the altar, you actually find this. If you can see that, you find a symbol of power. 
or imposing symbol of chord. And then there are also armbands, iron armbands, as well as on the uh, on the corpses. There is some. Oh, that that's for the other guy. Okay, so this will actually go to you, guy. Um, it's the uh, panther spear armor that was supposed to be from Morn. Okay. Um. So we'll 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 trade that sure for. Uh, use that. Yeah, we're we'll trade that for the other item. I I picked an item out for you, but I I couldn't remember which one it was. So we'll make a clean sweep for that. I'll just I'll make a note of that. Um, as well as some potions of healing. And some treasure and gold. Oh. So I will start handing that out for you guys. Never say no to money. Never turn down money. I hate when I have to like burp really loud, but I don't want to burp straight into the mic. <laughs> <laughs> Cover it. Okay, so two potions of healing, and then there is also a uh, sapphire blue gemstone. Or two of them. Who would like the potions and the gemstones? Mm. I don't think I need any of that. I'll take one or the other. Nobody wants potions, I'll take them. Uh, I got five of them already. Yeah, five I got two of them already. already. Okay. Well, I have two of them already, so... You can probably take some potions. Let me take one of them gemstones. Okay. I can't split them up. So I'm gonna give, uh... Potions to Vigor and then the gemstones to Osiris just because it doesn't let me differentiate from multiples. Alright, so you guys have all of that. 22 gold pieces and 66 silver pieces per person. All in. Those iron armbands. Yeah, I think those are for me. I, I don't have my I, I don't have my list up right now, but yeah, I did put them in your inventory. So okay, you got no root. Oh, I base. see them now. Wonder Woman. <laughs> Pretty much. Those are OP armbands. All right, so you guys are taking a rest. Are you taking a short rest or a long rest? I'm okay with a short rest. Yeah, short rest should be safe. Yeah. Alright. And then is this where you are hunkering down? Just like yeah. this? Yeah, I think this is a good defensive right. position. Okay. Yeah. Alright, so you guys... Um, <clears throat> you guys kind of catch a quick breather after your, after the battle. Figuring out this that this room is a good point to just kind of sit and gather your breath and you benefit from a short rest so now you may spend as many healing surges as you want to complete the short rest and then we can move on Malagar while you are in the hallway um, listening into the silence of the of the dungeon you hear uh, in the distance Straight ahead through the doorways to the to the uh, south of you, because that's actually south. Um, so, some... so around the corner to the right, front of the way I'm facing. No. Um, this way is south. Okay. That way. Here we go. Come on, let me do it. Let me do it. It's not let me do it. That way. It's not letting me make a pointer that way. That, that, that's the way I yeah. hear the noises. Yep, that's the south. Okay, so you hear uh, some guttural, uh, deeper voices and, um, uh, like, wood smacking against things. There's a small commotion coming from that direction. 
something stirs directly across the way. Cyrus, do you have a sense of what it is? Can I uh, roll up there and <laughs> perceive things? Go ahead, yeah. make a make me a perception <laughs> check. <laughs> Oh my god, you rolled an 8 and got a 20. <laughs> That's ridiculous. That's good enough. <laughs> okay, so... Money. From actually listening into the darkness, you hear... <laughs> but you can't really decipher any sounds of what, what it's actually making. Um, the little bits of banging almost sounds like what you would hear in a kitchen. It might be armor clanging. That's what we hear in... You guys think we should uh, confront this enemy? <laughs> Let's not sit with our hands under our butts, but there's no need to fight him if we don't need to. And where do you want to go then? North? Should we go north? Uh, we can either go north or I think to the west. There's an opening, there's two. If you go north, you're going to hit a wall. If you go west, you hit the altar. Oh, oh, that's not a door. Up, up in that north area. That's not north. That's, that's, not, that's not north. That's um <laughs> west. I was just explaining yeah. all this. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. This way, where my where right. black arrow's pointing, is west. Yep. Right, see. right. I no, no, I mean, uh, like there's at the cross section. I mean, if we go north of that cross section, there's another. But that's area not north. Then... No. North. No, north right. is this way. We are north. We are currently north. Alright, fuck it. <laughs> <laughs> if you wanna go if you wanna go up like you're saying north but west. you mean up. Yeah, up is west. <laughs> Alright. Yeah. I'm I'm down to go whichever way. What options do we have? We have only north? Up and left. West and east, right? You only have um to go south. South or north. west that has not been explored yet. If we move on, leaving an enemy behind us unattended, they might wind up flanking us if a future fight breaks out. I say we go That's check it call. out. Let's investigate. I, I smell evil. <laughs> he smells it. Or that might be Malagar. <laughs> Shade doesn't affect Malagar. <laughs> he was born of the shade. Lord of the shade. I was born in the darkness. <laughs> well, I see it in your faces. We should investigate those noises, so let's let's go. Sir, I agree. I'll be right behind you. What is going on? I'm gonna roll a stealth right off the bat. Alright. Do we roll a stealth too? Uh, give me one second. I need to get rid of some tabs or something because my computer is going slow. Alright. I do not like it. Then I will peer through the door. Is, is, is it currently open like it is on the map? Yes. Okay. Got an Addy 20. It's not letting me. Oh, there we go. It's just really slow. What the <laughs> hell? Oh, oh, boy. All these problems were supposed to have been fixed. There That's because you have the map tilted 90 degrees. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Everything's messed up now. Uh, me tiptoeing closer. <laughs> yeah, that's that's a doko. Okay. Dun, 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 dun. So, 
When you look into the doorway, you see these two orcs You see these two orcs kind of, kind of um, arguing with each other, and throwing, throwing a uh, cutlery and stuff about the room, looking kind of mad. I, I just peek in the room and then I head back. But I whisper to the party, orcs. Several doorways leading into the alcove of the raid, though. There might be more. Just two. Uh, what were their armors and their weapons like? You saw that they were wielding... <laughs> they were wielding hide armor and battle axes. Simple orc weapons. Hide armor, battle axes. Oh, don't underestimate the simple weapons. They can hack a tree and twine. Oh, absolutely. I'm just saying nothing out of the ordinary. Take them. Orcs are usually not the ones to set traps. We should brush them. Uh, Adoko, my friend, do you think your armor should be in the front? They can run those guys down, no problem. I like the sound of that. I'll be right behind ya. Before you charge in, let me try sneak attacking them. Ooh, yes. I like that bonus. Do you want me to reroll stealth? Um, when you get to the doorway, if you want to move <sighs> in closer, yes, I will want another stealth. Alright. Close, we want to get to him, guys. Right here. I want to get within... Six, I believe it is of them. Okay. What's 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 Shuriken's range? I always forget. Pretty sure it's six. Yeah, six. All right. Ten's popular today. Osiris is very stealthy. He disappears right in front of us. <laughs> All right, so you step across the doorway, and you are using the shadows to your advantage. They are they are wielding. Um, they're carrying torches, each shedding bright light in a ten square radius. Um, and they are they're looking at each other, talking amongst themselves in a language that you do not know. Gotcha. I'm going to Sly Flourish range. I'll do number two. Okay. On number two, that is a hit. Sweet. At which point, I need everybody to roll initiative for me. Yeah. yeah. Shuriken flies out from the darkness, striking him. Holy shit, that did a lot of damage. Yeah. See you guys at the end. <laughs> <laughs> I'll be there to clean up the bodies and roll. All right, so everybody gets one action for the surprise round, and we are going to start with Malagar, and so it goes to Osiris. From the shadow of the doorway, a shuriken goes whizzing past, right into the exposed flesh of the orc, who cries out in pain. All right. 
That is a miss. Damn. Khaled the Paladin is going to go running forward. For which he gets the running condition. And we go to Vigor. You're up. Oh yeah, that's right. Um, one action. Got to remember. So Osiris, you actually weren't able to to attack on that because we're in the surprise round. All right. Guy, you are up. Runs forward. Harry, you're up. I'll run up too. All right. Are you running? Yep. Okay. All right. I'm good there. Run up. Whoops. What just happened? And as I run, I'm going to say, For Avandra! <laughs> For Avandra! <laughs> like it? There we go. Okay. Did you run too? Or were I you ran. just. Okay. Just because there's a condition for that. You betcha. Alright, since he has not gone yet. Still get first strike on him. Mm -hmm. Oh, sorry, my map is being weird right now. Come on. Come on. There we go. All right. I'm gonna throw another shirk in his way. That is a hit. Another shuriken Ooh. goes whizzing out of the doorway to the orc who has now turned his turn to face the assailants. Dealing 17... Wait, no. That was your hit. Okay. Oh, dealing 20 damage. Mm. Another shuriken goes whizzing out of the out of the doorway to the door to the orc who is now turning his attention to you guys. Sinks into his eye socket right Sinks between the slits in his, his helm. There you go. Very nice. You still have a movement. Yep. And you oh, just you just that. you just hear a. a as he falls to his death. I'm going to move behind the door, and I'm going to re-stealth back up. All right. Or attempt to. Go ahead and roll stealth. Come on. <laughs> there we go. All right. And end my turn. If why is this being so weird? There we go. Okay, Osiris, you are up. Right. Oh man, no, I, I can't stop drinking these seltzers now. <laughs> They're not bad, I'm telling They're you. They're good. The hell's wrong with me? <laughs> Four, five, six, and I will target him. Guy. I'm gonna do my oath. All right. Uh, and then I will ask Radiant Vengeance and some other vengeance for me. Fuck. <laughs> and that is a miss. All right. It is now the Orc Freak's turn. So he sees, 
He sees his uh, comrade just across the way fall to two shurikens in, in short order, turning his attention to you, and, and he points a finger and... And then he steps forward towards you. He is going to use this attack. So he's going to make two savage strikes against you with his battle axe in short succession. Ooh, he got a crit. There's one. Okay, so you take 13 damage from the first one. And the second one is another hit. And since you took damage from both of them, you also take ongoing five damage, which is save ends. It, that was an encounter power. <clears throat> so, <laughs> yeah, he, he smacks you with his battle axe and then right away smacks you again with it and the second cut cuts deeply into your side, giving you a gashing wound. Then he pours right. salt in it. <laughs> salt work. Okay. Yes, From very the... lesser known salt work. <laughs> <laughs> he's he's one of the gray ones, the the ashen gray ones. Some of them are green. Okay, so from the uh, western end of the western doorway, you see and hear two, three, four, five, six. And seven, so he charges at you, Osiris. And this one will make a swing with his battle axe, which he gets a 24, and that is a hit. So he catches you on the leg, t taking 11 points of damage. All right, I got my shield of the faithful, so I'll take three less. Because he's a non, okay. non old target. So I will take three away from you. Uh, orc Freak 4. Okay. And then Orc Freak 2 is dead. We'll move on to the southern side of the chamber. Where you see and hear this guy coming. Shit, guys. I think there's a lot more orcs in here than two. Wait, why is this guy in there? <laughs> this guy wasn't supposed to be there. He's That's supposed to be over down. here. <laughs> okay, we're good. Three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Okay, so he can make it there. He is going to charge Osiris as well. And that is a hit. So if you want to apply that before he hits you, the the minus damage. Yep. Uh, you did that to four. Did it to the wrong one. Uh, Orc Freak three. Freak three. And I just gotta click out the other guy, right? Or you can click and drag it right onto his token. Oh. Yep, you got it. There we go, that's perfect. Right now, when he does his damage, it will automatically deduct that. Alright, so you take one damage from that. Money. Now, uh, again from the western end of the chamber, you see this orc coming out. One, two, three, four, five, six, and seven. Comes out with a charge going after Osiris. And he gets a hit with an 18, dealing 5 damage. Let me throw my shield. Oh shit, I forgot that. I'll take the uh, damage away from you. Okay. There we go. Okay. And we move to Khaled the Paladin. Who is going to... He's going to double move. 1, 2, 3, 
four, five, six, seven, and eight. Right there. And that's all you can do. Veger, you're up. Hello, Caleb? Yeah, up. Yep, my mic was muted. Okay. <laughs> Lay down! Lay down, Caleb. I'm gonna throw Orb Masters. Okay. Detonation. Is that where you want it? Yeah, I'm gonna throw it right okay, there. Okay, gotcha. That will work. That will get so all though. three of those guys. Yep. Perfect. Money. Nice. Okay. And hit, all three hit. 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 Very hit, nice. Hit. So Vigor goes running forward, turning just to the left of the doorway and shouts a word of incantation as he thrusts his hand out where a an orb of fire bursts in the center of the room dealing 12 damage to each of them very it good turn. All right poor man's fireball and they are all down on the ground writhing in pain from the flames Guy, you are up. Guy advances forward with a uh, battle cry on his left. For Maradin! He goes here and attacks uh, the southern, the, not south, uh, the easternmost on yep. this map. Alright. With sunburst. I think the battle cry helped. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, a little bit. Critical. Very nice. Ooh, nice. <laughs> 15 damage. And that was Sunburst? Yes, that was Sunburst. Right. As an effect, um, I and all my allies within 5 get 5 attempts. Okay. And can make a saving throw, so Osiris, you have ongoing. Would you like to make a save? Yes, I would. Go ahead and roll your save. It's on your main, uh, your main sheet. Ooh. That, that is a success. Yes. Very That's nice. A oh, good call. No more good ongoing. Guy. So guy runs forward, yelling for Moradin, and in a uh, brilliant flash of radiant sun-like energy, bursts forward. And just as it deals damage to the creature right in front of him, Osiris's wounds also kind of get covered in a uh, radiant glow, and they they seal up a little bit. The flames or the uh, the blood flowing from his wound is is quenched. Uh, I feel <laughs> <laughs> no, 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 no. <laughs> I'll, I'll, I'll drop a healing word on her as I'm my action. It looks bloody. Alright. Which also gives him a bonus to his attack roll, so he kind of can he can focus better on his enemies and try to find their weak spot. Yep. Yes. And guy whispers right. a uh, a word of power to to Osiris who hears it and he feels invigorated with renewed strength. Harry, you are up. I'll walk in far enough to see the room. Okay. Uh, 
Always too confident, aren't you, big boy? To Osiris. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I got a good defense. He's building up his attack for his oath. I got you. I'm gonna take advantage of the temporary hit points and hit uh, George two and Freak four with knives of the soul. All right. And with my covenant. I can get a plus two to my attack roll. Yes, because you're targeting two of them within three squares. <coughs> Excuse me. Ooh, critical. Yes. All right, so against Orc Judge 2... In addition to standard critical hit damage, you gain combat advantage against the target until the end of your next turn. Awesome. If the target is killed by this attack, instead gain combat advantage against all enemies on the battlefield until the end of your next turn. Oh. Okay, so let me... apply that to you. Who is that to? That was to Orc Judge 2. Okay, so yeah, you'll get combat advantage against all enemies until the end of your next turn, because this will kill that. Go ahead and Off roll edges. damage. Nice. Holy man. 31 Great. damage. Holy shit. You never it only chance. took one to kill him. <laughs> <laughs> and the last guy gets pushed one. All right. He gets pushed there. Very good turn. And I'll apply my invoker defense to myself. Okay. Um... Did you do the... I have to take damage for... Oh, no, my temporary hit points. Never mind. Yeah, your temporary hit points took care of that. All right, I'm good. All right. So for th from the southern end of the room... Wait, no, he can only move six. Okay, so he's going to move six. He sees the flames, and then he's going to change his mind and go this way. One, two... Three, four, five, and that takes his turn. Adokal, you're up. Sneak up behind uh, Osiris. Okay. And I'll lay hands on him. Ooh. Ooh. I like those hands. Oh. <laughs> Os Osiris feels a cold, clammy, some somehow sweaty hand slip under <laughs> his, his armor and touch his skin. <laughs> <laughs> Whoa, who that? Who that? 11 heals to Osiris. Ah, uh, thank you, sir. Then, as I lay my hands on him, I'm gonna uh, look around his shoulder and challenge all the all the orcs. Come at me if you dare. All right. Is that your call of challenge? Yep. All right. From the southern end, one, two, one, two, three, four, five, six. And then he is going to double move. One, two, three, four. And that is all he can do. Then we will go to Whoa. spindly limbed creature. Yes, you <laughs> see a spindly limbed tentacle looking fucker. That's fucking creepy. Yep, coming up coming from um here. 
I gotta find this thing. Looks like this. Hmm. Yeah, ugly. So, 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 it's a, so, so it's a cavern joker. What do you mean? No meta gaming. <laughs> 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 you see this uh, this spindly looking creature coming out of out of the uh, the kitchens, <laughs> and it moves there, and then it kind of looks around to uh, all the other rooms, and then. He is going to no, no. climb up the ceiling. Whoa. Okay. It's an alien shit. Uh, let's see. Climb six. So the ceiling is 20 feet tall. He climbs all the way up to the ceiling. So he is 20 feet up. So he double moved for that. Malagar, you're up. I'm going to move. One, two, three. Let's see. I'm just going to throw the shuriken through Kelly. Alright. I was stealthed up before, so do I get a surprise on him? Uh, yes, that was su that was sufficient. He is um, distracted. He did not see you coming, so you get a surprise for that. Okie dokie. Combat advantage. Thirty for hit. That is a success. I'll take it. Nice. He is down. With your shuriken whizzing through, um, whizzing past Khaled, burying in the orc's neck. He goes down with a guttural. <laughs> and would you like to do anything else? Negative. All right. It is now Osiris's turn. All right. I know. Target. Uh. Spark Freak One. I don't think you uh, you called your oath. Oh yeah, you did. Orc Freak Four is your oath of enmity. Fourth of my oath. Yep. I have one shit up there, so I just target uh, this Orc Freak One. Okay. You, uh... How does that work for your? So I don't I don't double roll. If I attack him. Hold on, it's I your uh. My oath. Censure of retribution. When an enemy. When any enemy other than your Oath of Enmity target hits you, you gain a bonus to damage rolls against your Oath of Enmity target equal to your intelligence modifier until the end of your next turn. So if you don't attack Orc Freak 4 on this turn, you will uh, lose that damage. Lose it, huh? Yep. Okay, so I have to use it. Alright, well then I will target him. Since he's almost dead anyways. Alright. And, uh... If I shift up there, will, I, will Orc Freak 1 get an attack of opportunity? No. Because it's a shift. Okay, so I can... You would like, take damage from going in those flames fire. from Vigor, though. Oh, there's fucking fire there? Yeah, that's... Yep. I'm pretty sure it's... No, it's friendly. Nope. When it's... When it when you first cast it, it's to all creatures. It's only after <laughs> you sustain it. And your okay. second turn hasn't come up yet. Okay. Well, then uh, I'll just, uh, just you would you would only take two fire damage. Yeah, I'll just go up there. I got temporary hit points. All right. And I'll do uh, I'll double swing my. Uh, go ahead and drag that damage over for him, Vigor. I want you to be the one to do that. <laughs> yeah, it's not letting me do it to him. Okay, I will get it. Absorbed. That is a hit. <laughs> 
Nice. 18 damage. Nice. You had plus 13 to that attack. Damn. Yeah. Okay. And then I will, uh... Three temporary points. Right. I will reassign my oath to this guy. So that guy dies. <clears throat> and then I will end my turn. All right. So Osiris steps up boldly into the into the licking flames of Vigor's fire spell, unafraid and smashes his, his big two-handed sword, splitting the skull of his oath target in two. Money. We move to Orc Freak 1, who is going to turn his attention to Osiris once more. Standing up from prone, he is going to shout a, a big bellow. Oh, so he is going to, uh, he's going to shout a uh, war cry, and then he is going to make two savage strikes against Osiris. Oh my god, it's a crit. Oh. And hey, we're going to don't like you. Mighty blow, you do three standard critical hits to the target. Holy shit. Oh. Wait. Oh. Wait, what? Three critical hits? Yeah, that's what it is. Mighty blow. You do three standard critical hits to the target. Okay. Wait, that was to a oh, it's a radiant damage. Yeah. Um. So he he took the uh, he took the damage from not attacking a dokel because he was marked. Yep. Okay. So there's one. There's two. There's three. And then he gets his second attack from that savage strike. Is that orc drudge? No, that's a orc freak one. And orc he hits orc. with a 19. Holy shit. You're going down, I think. And Probably you are down right? and dying. <laughs> so orc freak, his, his battle axe buries deep into your shoulder, dealing massive damage, and he yanks it out to cut you once again as you fall down to the ground. Un falling unconscious. Khaled <laughs> the Paladin will cry, No! <laughs> Osiris! Ryan, did my fire damage go to that guy? To what guy? To the freak, because he the started freak? in there. I don't think it, um, it just posted in the thing. I see. It didn't apply to him. Um, you, you healed Orc Freak 1? Yeah, that was an accident. Okay. <laughs> He's in the combat tracker just adjacent so, to Osiris. Hold on. So yeah, uh Hold on, hold on. So I see okay. uh the sta the Savage Strike, ten damage to Osiris, I see seven damage to the Orc Freak from a Dokal. I see thirteen to Osiris, I see thirteen to Osiris. And then I see five to Osiris, which put him down. So no um, uh he did not five, take the I would like to react to. Okay. So because it, it says in the chat about that, but it didn't, damage. like, apply to him. Yeah, you need to uh, do the damage for that. I, I'll apply it to him. Did you? There, it did. You got it? Okay. Mm -hmm. So then the target regains... Six hit points. Okay, gotcha. So he regains six hit points. So almost as if by the divine grace of Morden himself, Osiris is able to catch consciousness back again oh. <laughs> and now um, okay guy will get a plus two power bonus to his next attack roll against that enemy that damaged Osiris exactly all right uh, also I accidentally healed the orc freak one as well if you could take that healing uh, away okay how that. much was the heal for six, six? Uh, okay so he's at that all right. Also, technically, it was a reaction to him going unconscious, so he would be prone, if, even if not uh, unconscious anymore. But he would be prone. Okay. Osiris, I mean. Got that. Just want to make sure I got everything taken care of then. 
Uh, yeah, we should be caught up. All right. <clears throat> so Khaled shouts, no, but just as Osiris rises from the ground, praise be Moradin as he uh, swings his great axe at the orc freak. And he got a 23 to hit. Dealing 12 damage. And he is going to choose not to mark him to keep Adokals on. And then we move to Vigor. So. I'm gonna throw a cloud of daggers at Orc Freak 1. Okay. Kill that motherfucker. Nice. One. <laughs> Money. <laughs> 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 Damn, boy. Came out swinging, huh? Well, my force damage still stays in that square, so... Yep. And then I'm gonna sustain this and expand it to, to a burst... burst three. Yes. Three. Right there. And that should be the end of my turn. All right. Guy, you are up. So, a question. Um, the places where the orcs fell, is that difficult terrain now? Yes. Alright, then I cannot shift there. Alright. In that case, I'm gonna attack the orc grudged right next to me. Okay. I gotta get another seltzer. <laughs> All right. Let's see if that killed him. Take him out. And then actually yeah. I wouldn't provoke from moving, so I'm gonna just move, not shifting. Yeah. Into that Instead square so we flank that guy. Alright, I'm back. Nice. That's total defense if you wanna take that off. Um okay, gotcha. A do cool. Oh I gotta look at the bottom. All right, what are you doing, guy? So, first of all, I attacked the orc drudge right in front of me and okay. actually happened to kill him. Gotcha. Swift strike of the great sword I wield. And then, because the way was clear, I could just walk into that square where the other uh, orc buddy was. Yes. Um, just shifting didn't work, and now we flank that guy. Yes, you do. That, that other one. And now I'm going to use an action point. Okay. To put up the battle standard of healing. Perfect. And then as a minor action. I'm okay. gonna put another healing word on my friend Osiris there. Gotcha. Fifteen heals to Osiris. Ooh. Plus, because of the uh, zone of healing. Plus one? Or plus two? That. Plus, everybody gets uh, two. Okay. When they heal, right? When anyone heals, everybody gets the plus oh, two. Oh, okay. I must not have yeah. read that correctly. All right. Yeah. It's a wondrous <laughs> item. Yeah, it's a wondrous <laughs> item. It's pretty good. Oh, yeah, yeah, you're right. Okay. Harry, you are up. Okay. What do I know about oven mitts over there? Uh, go ahead and roll me in nature. 
Roll me a Nietzsche check. <laughs> you're looking at this so shit. You're looking at this thing and you're like, I thought octopuses lived in the ocean. What the fuck is that? It's, it's a mind flare, guys. <laughs> it's a mind flare. <laughs> we gotta get out of here. <laughs> All right, well, it's too so much of that. <laughs> Um, I'm just going to use Avenging Light and try to target him. Can I, I, I should be able to reach him 20 feet up, right? Um, let me check. Okay, so he is, let's see, how far away from him are you? What does that say? I can't even read that. 40 feet. Four, four feet. Okay. I made a little thing. Oh. 20 feet so up, he so is four squares. He is 5.66 squares away from you, being oh, 20 awesome. feet up. Easy, easy for me. Mm -hmm. Okay, I'll target. Oh, I'm targeting him. He is just under 30 feet away from you. All right. And let's do it. That is a hit. Got you. Dealing 13 damage. It's up in the in the crevice corner of the ceiling, looking down at you, and a brilliant brilliant ray of radiant light goes up and smacks him on the, on his body. And you just you hear a um, Alright, anything else? That? I'll just get a little closer. Okay. And end my turn. All right, Adoku, you're up. I'm gonna shift over and uh, lay my hands on Osiris again. Okay. And uh, he actually gets my healing because I got lend health, which is twelve. Okay. And then also so he gets uh, devoted when you Paladin. when you use healing, that's tw okay. So that should be. Yeah, I'll he change. actually uses his own healing surge value. Okay, I'll get that yeah, changed. Which is 12. And cool. then also, uh, Devoted Paladin, he gets extra with my charisma. So, we got that. And then I'll turn around and look at the Orc Drudge 1. I'm fully healed up. And uh, slash him with my sword with the Ardent Strike. Okay. That is a hit for 10 damage. Nice. You, you attack the drudge, right? Yeah, did I not have... Yeah. Okay, I just wanted to make... Okay. Yeah. I, I turned around this, and... The whole time I thought you were attacking Orc Freak and, I, and it didn't go, so I got no. confused. Okay. Yes. No. The drudge falls down in a heap at your feet. Money. A really big dick. <laughs> <laughs> you guys always, I'm always like drawing when when you guys are uh, uh, changing your your turn, and then it always like draws a big giant <laughs> dick, I guess. That's, that's what that sound is when they when they get hit. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> okay, so the spindly limb creature on the ceiling. Is he gonna get hit by the fire? Or no. No, he's above the elevation. He, he's uh, right. four squares up, so that would not touch him. So, let's see. He is going to go over to and then jump down to swing his nasty arms at Osa at uh, Harry. Oh, he jumped on the floor? Yeah. So, he, uh, I think he would take the damage from when he jumps down. Two damage, two fire damage, and let's see. He hits. Os he hits Harry. So Harry takes five damage and is now grabbed. Oh man! And you take I'm a. I'm more nauseous than scared. 
You take a minus four penalty to your strength check when you try when you attempt to escape it. Okay. All right, Malagar, you're up. All right. Uh, so with Harry being grabbed, is he still considered like on that side, like engaged with him? So if I go to the back side, I'd still get a flanking. Um, arms. let me see. I mean, theoretically, you should. In well, life, it's it's right? basic. It's basically like Harry is being, is being grabbed and sucked into the creature. I'm looking for a grab. Okay, so grabbed. The creature is immobilized. Maintaining this condition on the creature occupies whatever appendage, object, or effect the grabber used to initiate the grab. This condition ends immediately on the creature if the grabber is subjected to an effect that prevents it from taking actions, or if the creature ends up outside. It doesn't say anything about. Um, there's no language about being grabbed that I can read that would say no. So yes, uh, I would say I'm gonna rule that you can flank. Okay. I will take the attack of opportunity from the orc. Which one? Orc freak uh, one. Freak, oh, freak one. Yep, and we'll pass him. So one, two, three, four, five, six. Okay. Give me one second. So as you go by, the orc freak swings a battle axe at you, but you dodge nimbly out of the way. Hell yeah. Nimbly, nimbly, like... He rolled a one, and as you are, uh, as you stab forth with your dagger behind the spindly limb cre creature, it actually manages to contort its body out of the way just enough for you to miss. All right. Screw that noise. Action point. And it's... so, if a, tar if a, if a target is dazed, can they maintain the grapple? Um. So because he only gets one action. Yeah, days only. Action just... Dazed so... only means that he can take one action. Um. So he'd still be able to do the grab. So because the, he would have... the rules are not a uh, hundred percent. Mm, <laughs> so people have different opinions on this. In the compendium, in the rules compendium, in the online compendium, and in the original rules, uh, grabbed. Um, had the automatic end on dazed um, since dazed prevented you from taking actions uh, later in a uh, forum the developers answered the question with uh, it was intended to not end on dazed because dazed technically doesn't prevent you from taking actions it only limits you from taking actions and they they kind of they had that in some errata document it's uh, it didn't find its way into the actual rules though so people play it differently uh it's a gem call on this if we have dazed and a grab or not i'm going Both to say no out there. based on that very logic because dazed limits your actions it doesn't prevent you from taking actions and if we think of the creature it has like tentacle claw things that would be um holding on to harry so like if, if you get a hook on you like that's gonna that's kind of bury you into bury into your skin and kind of hold on so i'm gonna say no that a daze does not end a grab okay makes sense cool sweet then i will i'm gonna take another drink oh, that yeah. is a hit so he is going to use his body shield immediate interrupt so okay. when he, when he is targeted by a melee or ranged attack against reflex or armor class he will make the victim the target instead. So I need you to change the damage to Harry. Ouch. Uh -oh. Gonna hurt. Oof. He's not Spider Harry. Harry. <laughs> it wasn't Osiris, or we might have thought it was intentional. Oh, <laughs> All right. 
So Harry. No, that was wrong. I forget. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, you motherfucker! <laughs> so, so Malagar thrusts once more with his with his dagger, and the limbed creature contorts its body out of the way so that Harry's flesh is exposed and it buries into Harry's side, oh, taking twenty oh, damage. Harry. What did you do that for? Hello, kind of low. You got me. Would you like to do anything else? Uh, is there anyone else time. you want to hurt? No. That's it. <laughs> <laughs> okay, Osiris, you are up. It is your turn. All right. Uh, I am targeting or freak one. So I will do a lot of retribution. Uh, you have minus two to the attack rolls because you're prone if you want to stand up first. Uh, are you going to stand up I... first? Yeah. Uh, okay. Stand up, and do we get the combat advantage for? Yes, flanking. For flanking, flanking? yes. So, okay. prone is minus two, and comrade is also plus two. So basically, that would have okay. okay so just add two to the roll, right? Yeah. yeah. Okay. So hit. Hit on fifteen. Okay. Yeah, that's a hit. It's a hit regardless. Okay. So, uh, do I do this damage? Boom! Oosh, kill this motherfucker. You stab your frost falchion forward, killing the orc with a blow to his stomach. And he slumps over <laughs> to the ground. Alright, I'm gonna shift my focus to this. Man, you Ooh, killed these guys fast. <laughs> do we, uh, do I need to check on this guy? Go ahead. Oh, that's what I forgot to do. <laughs> Arcana or nature? Uh, I, I probably should have said oh. that. All right. So this is a cavern choker. You know, this is a subterranean dwelling monster um, that attacks from from stealth. A choker's arms and legs contain multiple knobby joints of cartilage, which allow them to flex and coil almost like tentacles. Thus, a choker's movements are rolling and fluid. So these things will grab onto you and attack you while it, it has you grabbed, and it has an ability to um, redirect attacks to its victims. Uh, we know that now. <laughs> Do we know how often it can redirect attacks? Um, yeah, with that roll, you would know that it is a uh, recharge. So... He has to make a successful attack in order to recharge the action. So he has to make a successful... Um... So it's down right now, basically. Yeah, it's, words, it's down yeah, right it's now. Again, so right he now. wouldn't be able to use it again until he uses one of his like two main attacks. Oh. Alright, well then I'll cast my oath on him. Can I move to him? Uh, yes, all you used was your... Attack action. attack. Standard action. Oh, he, he stood up, though. Uh, oh, that, yeah, that's right. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. Well, then I'll do that, and then I will do my range. To, uh, okay. No, I attack. So I'll uh, do my oath, and then I'll end my turn. All right. Thank you for reminding me. Khaled the Paladin will look to the creature. Oh, my. It's a cavern choker. Quick, kill it before it can get away. And then he steps forward <laughs> right here. Nice. And he will swing his great axe with a hit for. Ooh, nice. 12 damage. And the creature lets out a guttle. <laughs> Veger, you are up. Alright. <laughs> Here. Throw my cloud of daggers at this guy. Alright. That's another fucking one. <laughs> Get him out now. I told you, you gotta practice your rolls, bro. I was Dude, telling you, always. Two in a row. 
All week, I was telling you, practice your rolls. Get dice and fucking practice. <laughs> you didn't practice. When it comes to performance time, you're slacking. <laughs> so, I'll move that there. All right. The force is still in that square, and it's my miner. He's bloodied, right? Yeah. Yes. I'm going to use call of the week on him. Okay. Let's do this it does 1d6 to him. So. Plus intelligence modifier. Yeah. It won't fucking roll. There we go. There we go. 11 damage. Nice turn. And then I'll remove. The fire's gone now. Okay. okay. And that'll be my turn. All right. Guy, you are up. Yep, I'm gonna go to him. And try to hit him. All right. Resurgent Sun. Miss spectacularly. That is a miss. <laughs> Just that barely. Is, that is an effect. Uh, I don't need a hit for this. Okay. I can heal my bloodied friend over there, the Harry guy. Oh, thank you. Harry. Harry. And then he also gets the attack bonus. Correct? And the zone trigger. <laughs> you get a heal. You get a heal. Everyone gets a heal. Very nice. Heels on heels on heels. All right, Harry, you are oh, grabbed, man. so that means that you are immobilized. So you can't move unless teleported or pulled, pushed, or slid. You still have actions. Ooh. I have so many friends. I'll use my Divine Protection Miner, so that protects me from opportunity attacks. Okay. And... I have combat advantage, and I'll use Thunder of Judgment okay. on this guy. Twenty. Natty. You took all of these yeah. rolls. It's your second one now, right? <laughs> yes, it is. <laughs> You're welcome. <laughs> <laughs> He's giving you all his luck. He's got nat 20s on my face. Let's see what we can do. Oof. 25 damage and he yeah. falls down to the ground. You have the floor. Oh man, he's right in front of me. He gets hit with all my thunder. He's just getting fried. Fried to a crisp. Attack brown, so it would provoke an opportunity attack. He used... No, but that's why I use divine protection. Uh, it's a feat. Yep. So or, he does utility, not. Sorry. He doesn't provoke opportunity attacks when he uh, uses that feat. Very nice. Yes. Very well done, guys. I'm gonna remove my uh. I can't my force there. Hi, baby. <laughs> Just thinking about those hands. <laughs> All right. So you looking around the you're looking around this room. Um, ceilings are 20 feet tall. There are uh, there are rooms with a, a whole bunch of beds to the west and south, and then to the east it seems like kitchens. Ooh, I like food. <laughs> Some food. All right, Adokul, stepping into the kitchen, you see the room's walls are lined with empty cabinets and cold hearths. <laughs> see if the locks have anything on them besides just their weapons and armor. This is the do door right here? Yes. Yeah, see if there's anything on their dead bodies. Hey, guys, there's a door in here. <laughs> door. All right, so... uh. Checking the bodies, you find a whole bunch of equipment that I am going to assume gets stashed in Harry's bag. <laughs> His little fupa bag. Your little sack. 
Just stuff it all into my sack. Alright. <laughs> if I... Through this door? Yeah, you just open it. You should be able to click on it. Oh, no, I don't want to open it. I just want to listen to it. Okay, go ahead, roll perception. Alright, you hear a, a little bit of shuffling coming from the other side of the room. And then all this, and, and, you, and you, you feel a little bit of weight on the other side of the door pushing back ever so slightly. Is it Guy? <laughs> <laughs> I don't know, is it? <laughs> Guys, I find a door here. <laughs> Guys, there's a door in We're this room too. from the other side. <laughs> hmm. seems to be nothing in there. Did you find any items? No. Searching through the area, you don't find any items worth note. The beds are uh, dusty tables and benches right. with um, right. empty um, empty chests at their foot. Hey, hey guys, there's nothing in this room behind this door. <laughs> I, I heard something, now it's gone. <laughs> <laughs> Strange things happen in here. Maybe it's haunted. <laughs> Maybe we should leave. I say we take a short rest. Oh yeah, take this short rest. Yes, don't forget to heal up after a fight. Yeah. So many corpses. Right, give me one... Make me tired. Give me one second so I can get all these items. Oh my goodness. Okay. I got too much crap on my screen. I need another screen. I need another monitor. Just get a big one. It's Definitely a lot better. Monitor. A wide one. Yeah, I'll take Work. Caleb's. I'll go over to his house Work. and steal his new one. Works so much better than two. Seven of those, three of those, four of those. Oh, whoops. Put the wrong ones. Get a drink real quick. Alright. This must really be haunted. The loot just ghosted on us. <laughs> <laughs> All right, that should have been should have been distributed. I'm right in your pocket, or are you just happy to see me? Okay. <laughs> All right, so you guys um, catch your breath after that battle as well, licking your wounds, Osiris. Touching his body all over the place. He's still got all of his limbs and there's no gaping wounds any, anymore. You finish a short rest and you are able to spend healing surges if you choose. Yes. Uh, would we get a milestone here? Um, you do get experience. I forgot about that. Man, I've been um, out of... I've been out milestone of... Milestone for action point. Uh, the last short rest was without action point. Okay. Yeah, 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 right. There we go. So you got an action point for that. And then... 645 experience points awarded to you guys. Adolko... Does Adolko get experience for that fight with the troll? Um, Hall of Heroes? Uh, yeah, you did. No, you didn't. No, you didn't. Wait a minute. Ooh, I B4, remember. Shrine of Morden. Yes, you did. Okay. 
It is showing that it has been awarded. Gotcha. I just legitimately couldn't remember. So. Yep, that's fine. I'm fine. I'm fine with the guys questioning it. I want you guys to make. I want you guys to get what you deserve. So. All right. Now, what would you guys like to do? There's only right one back. way to go, guys. Go back. Home. Home. Back to your mama. <laughs> back to the inn. <laughs> I named the tavern, by the way. Oh, it's the name of the tavern. Sneaky Paladin. Sneaky Paladin. The <laughs> Sneaky Paladin. <laughs> that sounds like a bad sex act. <laughs> well, he's the guy that invites everybody over. <laughs> can name it Rooflin. <laughs> the Roof Inn. Roof Inn. Yeah, that's a good one. <laughs> roof Inn. <laughs> in. <laughs> I'm not going to go any further on that. <laughs> well. I'll take a quick peek. Okay, with a 26. Slide on up to the door. And... So, looking inside, oh. you are... Let me see. Is it, is it open? Yeah, okay. Yeah, it's open. As you look across the threshold into the next chamber, darkness engulfs you, pitching you in a momentary fright of suspension. Oh. But you, Malagar, you are actually able to see this. Yeah, dark vision. Dark vision for the win. <laughs> so you are actually able to see this chamber. There we go. That's better. So if you want to look again. Wow. Okay. Uh, do I see any? Okay. There it is. So you, uh, <clears throat> you look into the chamber where the ceiling rises above you about a hundred feet or so. At the center, there is a pillar of solid steel screwed into the stone that stands as tall as the ceiling. Two bronze and steel pipes emerge from the eastern walls and travel toward the steel column before vanishing into the stone. Rising around the outside of the room is a stone catwalk that connects to steel grating, wrapping around the steel pillar like scaffolding. Dark tunnels pock the walls, leading to who knows where. Okay, so that, that L-shaped can have it. Area that's uh, like right in front of me. Yes. That like goes off to my right. Is that lower elevation or higher elevation? Higher. So you were at the bottom. The stair. This. There's. Here, if you want to step in real quick. There's stairs, going to your left. So south. I see. That I see. goes okay. above, and through the whole chamber, rising above the whole chamber. So you can see that. I got you. Yep. And it connects to that L shape. Um. Do and I that's see... that's like a that's like stone, um, that's like a stone pathway going up, screwing up to the top of the chamber. I got gotcha. you. I got gotcha. you. Do I see any creatures? Roll me perception. Invisible. <laughs> Hi, Mrs. Adokal. <laughs> you got a wave. <laughs> <You're the candy laughs> <camera>. Why? <laughs> <laughs> All right. So, poking your head into this chamber and looking around, you're listening intently for any noises. All you, all you are met with are the resonant uh, whispers of darkness. So nothing. It must be soothing. going in there. Oh. I, I come back. Super large room, very dark, massive machine in the middle with a winding set of stairs around the outside leading up to it. I don't see any enemies. 
Any other dangers, like traps, my friend? Couldn't find any. I didn't go very deep, though. Only one way to find out, then, I guess. Khaled is, uh... Khaled's among the group now, and he's like, Ah, that be the Nexus Adventurers. We need to go in there and seal it off. That's the only way right. we can stop the advance of the Orcish hordes. Let's do it. How, oh, oh. Oh. How do we seal it off, do you know? Before we get balls deep into this? If I remember correctly, there must be a control panel somewhere that will take the, the boiling water that we already unsealed. It will flood the chamber. Thus flooding the tunnels. I did see a control panel at the top. Ah, perfect. We must get Are to the top. Get... And then he starts, pushing his, he starts pushing his way through. We're flooding the same room we're in with boiling water? That doesn't mm -hmm. sound really healthy. As he, yeah. as, he, <laughs> as he crashes the thres threshold, he's like, <laughs> There's no time, heroes. We have to seal off the Nexus. I'm sure they have an escape hatch somewhere. So I, I go to the door and I, I, I tell him, you do it, and I shut the door real quick. You shut the door behind him? <laughs> <laughs> the boiling water will flood these entire caverns as well. Everything is below where that control panel is. So uh, every, everybody roll me an intelligence check real quick. Oh, I'm good at that. Oh, the is going to get it. Oh man. Okay, so uh everyone that everyone that, got, everyone that got everyone that got above a ten, um when Malagar says uh that if they Damn. if the chamber gets flooded it'll probably flood all these caverns too. Everyone that got above a ten, you reckon that that's probably correct. So we should like go in there or get out. It's up to you. So does that mean I don't know anything? Whatever we do, do let's do it down. quickly. Otherwise, we we are ending up as fish soup. We <laughs> came this far. Let's go help the damn paladin. <laughs> uh, I'll just listen. To He's making his way up oh, the, the damn dwarf. Sorry, yeah. damn dwarf. <laughs> He's making his way up the up the scaffolding. I can't get in. As as you can't get in. Oh, there we go. As Osiris steps across the threshold, the door the uh, stone doors close behind him with a loud thud. Oh, it's a trap. Fuck. <laughs> Where does this staircase lead? This ladder here? Um, if you uh, ascend and look into the tunnel, you see the expansive darkness um, going past you. And at this time, Khaled is wielding a torch. Otherwise, everything in here is dark. I think Khaled is setting us up. <laughs> <laughs> He must be. So let's say. Oh, how far does a torch cast light? 20 feet? 20 squares? Something like that. That's nice. I have an ever burning torch, let me check. Yeah. Uh, it says radius of five squares. Radius of five, okay. So, like that. So, Khaled is wielding a torch that he is using to uh, make his way. Otherwise, everything outside that torch is like darkness. I try to stay on the torch. I try to stay on the outskirts of the torch. Hurts my eyes. Okay. I want to leave an ever-burning torch here at the bottom of this ladder. Okay. Just for now. No. Oh. <laughs> All right. So then he makes his way Where? over there. I'd like to uh, equip the iron armbands that I received. Okay. As we're making our way through this. Yes. I just need to. All my clicks are just a little bit lagged. So bear with me. So those armbands 
Just playing with my dog. Yeah. <laughs> Harry, you coming? I don't want to leave you in the dark. I'm just placing my torch here. Also, I love how Khaled is still a question mark. Right? I think it's because he's saved on a folder in my computer. I thought you and did. you guys had, don't have that downloaded or something. So I, I don't know what the fuck's going evil. on. evil. <laughs> <laughs> it's definitely evil. Get this real quick. Boom. Khaled, before we activate the machine, we should figure out our way out first. I'm just updating your uh, damage stuff real quick, Ma um, Malagar. Okay, thank you. Even though you don't know this is going on because you don't know what those armbands are. Did we get nope. experience points from last time? Yes, you did. Yeah. All right. Okay. It's because we get you have to take a long rest with an item before you can. Yes. Like attuned to it or whatever you call it. Yeah, before you are able to like figure out what it is, before you can mm -hmm. identify it. I also forgot to mention I picked up my shurikens from that orc fight as well. Okay. So that is all updated. Okay. <clears throat> so, ascending slowly, um, you're able to uh, see the... Right here, there is the uh, control panel mechanism looking thing. And Khaled says, Look up there, heroes! If I remember correctly, there should be that that should be the control panel we can access to control the flood. It'll seal off the tunnels and stem the horde's advance from neath the mountain. Did you not hear me, you stupid dwarf? <laughs> we should find our way out first before we start touching the controls. He he um kind of dismissing what you just said. He blah, just make your way to the top quickly. <laughs> so I run out in front of him. Okay kind of lead the way starting when you get to the bottom hold up hold up stop 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 everybody stop okay so Adokal, when you get to the bottom of these steps right here we'll say I right. I need everybody to roll initiative for me <laughs> Great roll. Okay. Not bad. Everybody roll. Yes. So. Okay. <clears throat> If you guys are ready for this, oh, I don't know if you're ready for this. I gotta find all my shit real quick. There we go. We are Gucci. All right. All right. Khaled got the got the best. All right. So <laughs> make a roll real quick. Okay. So, once you get to about halfway up the uh, scaffolding, you hear some in the distance, seeming to come from this tunnel. Which tunnel? What, no pointer. Where I just on the, drew the pointer. On the left side. Uh, yep, oh. there we go. Okay. Okay. Alright. To that area. And then, so Khaled is going to kind of almost pick up. Whoops, that's not Khaled. There we go. 
He's gonna kind of pick up his step. Two, three, four, five. One, two, three, four, five. And he moves there. He double moves. Yeah. And then from that end, suddenly an orc form bursts from the tunnel entrance and shouts, Grrr! Do any of you actually speak giant or orc? I do. Okay. I speak giant. So he, he emerges from the tunnel and he, uh, he shouts, Butcher them! And he goes charging forward. So uh, it sounds like he's leading the charge at us, guys. Are we running towards the dwarf or towards the uh, enemy? So he can move. Let's see. One, two, three, four, five, so if, six. If I'm reading the map right, there's two ways to get to that control panel. Be it the, or the, the north side and then the... Um, east. Is that right? Yes, there there's is. Because there's, there's, there's a little path around the ring of the screw, and then there's the main path around the bottom of the map. So, my pointer right here, this is like a little catwalk, and then you can also get across on the far side where there's the platform. Like right, like right here? Yes. All right, so he moves up, and then he's going to move up again. Three, four, five, six, and that's as far as he can go. And we move to Osiris. So are we running away from this guy? Oh, I just quick yell to the group, don't let Cal get to the control panel. <laughs> you guys are so <laughs> mistrusting of him. <laughs> it may take time to op I, I stop. It may take time for him to operate the controls. We should set up a vanguard of some sort on those two points. And I and I point up here. Oh, I just got rid of the map. Well. Uh oh. Which what, what's the map name? The vents. Vents entrance. Oh, what the hell? Uh, yeah. The, there we go. The, the fence entrance. Oh, hey, there we go. Thank you. Yep. I mean, I gotta resize it. It's all like crazy massive right now. Anyway, so I point. Story of my life. Here. <laughs> and here. I don't see anything. No, no, no. Yeah, neither, not not everybody's gonna be able to see. Because of the uh, fog of war. No. Oh, gotcha. I'll actually close no, this off because you're you're far enough up in elevation that those shouldn't block sight anymore. It's, it's only us three on the map again. Yeah. I don't see them on the map oh, again. Oh my you goodness. Okay, so who can't see? I can't see. Adoku. Guy, Harry, and Adoku. Guy, Harry, hey. and Adoku. Harry, Guy, Adoku. <laughs> That's what you get when you take that plate off. Yeah. <laughs> and then a doko. Yep, works now. That's weird. I wonder why that is. Alright. No, hold um... on. Okay, yeah, I got it. Never mind. Let's do it. What are you doing, We're Osiris? Right. So I, I can't see the guy that I'm targeting. There's no enemy or anything. Really? Oh yeah, the enemy's gone. Oh my goodness. We defeated him. Right. Oh, okay then. Let's <laughs> um, the trucker as well. Let me... Yeah. Let's see. Let's see this. Can you see him now? Nope. Okay, I'm gonna redo this then. Three, 
find him. Okay, so he should have been right here. All right, you can see him now. Yes. Okay. Yep. Good. That is what I want. Okay. Now, target him. Do radiant vengeance. Yes. Ooh, 20. Crit, motherfucker. Fucking crit. Crits for Beautiful. days. He is dead. He drops with a brilliant flash of energy. Yeah, motherfucker. Okay, let's fucking follow this fucking paladin. One, oops. One, two, three, four, five, six. Alright, and then now I end my turn. Alright. Guy, you are up. Just running. Okay. Get basically to there. Okay. Just so we are aware, uh, stairs is difficult terrain. Okay, then it's too so. less. One less because it's one square of the terrain. Uh, basically, in yeah. front of them. Uh, yep, you're good. Alright, another orc comes out of that tunnel. Same thing, except he is going to run. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, because he's running. Actually, he is going to run and then charge, because he can do that. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Then he gets a plus one to that. Mini basic attack. Yep. So he swings his club at you, Malagar, and he hits with a 20. Dealing 5 damage. And we move on to Harry. Okay. The Drudge. I'll target him with Avenging Light. Okay. That is a 22 hitting him. He is dead. Just as quickly as he charges forth and swings at Malagar, he is met with a excuse me, he is met with a blinding flash of light felling him where he stands. And then I'll just run towards up the stairs. Okay. One, two, three, four, five, six. And can I cut that corner and go in for mm, no no. Sides? no. <laughs> jump it. Acrobatics. <laughs> no, acrobatics. Go ahead and go ahead and try jump it. I'll give you an ac acrobatics check. <laughs> I'll just I'll just stand did you, over there behind him. Did you count the extra square for the stairs? Difficult yes. terrain? He did. I don't see a stair. I don't see a ladder in that bottom section. It's Wait a minute. Low. Wait a minute. You were right here? Or were you on No. Here? You were I was right just one square too far from my... Here? Yeah. Okay, so I one, know because I tried two, counting for my invoker defense. Three, four, five, six. Okay, so. Gotcha. Yep. Okay. That's all I got. Alright, Vigor, your turn. So if I run, I can move eight squares? Yes. And you can double move. Yeah. So you can run all the way up there. It's there. 
and then I move again. I double move. And stop right there. Okay. We are to Malagar. Alright, I'm gonna double move with a run. So, okay. one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen. And then I can't go any further because they're in the way. Okay. Nice. Nice. Good teamwork. Adokul, you're up. I'm gonna double move with a run as well. Okay. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Perfect. Yes. All right. Paladin the Paladin. Can we actually block his way standing there? No, you can move through ally space. What if we don't want to be his allies anymore? <laughs> then, then that provokes an attack of opportunity. <laughs> I was thinking about running and then like pretending to trip and knock him over. <laughs> All right. Not easy with more. So Adokul, you hear some guttural sounds and heavy footsteps thrumming from the the farthest tunnel. I need. Militants. Question, that ladder that's adjacent from the control panel, can we see where that goes? Does that go like yes. into the ceiling so, or into the roof? Or Now that you mention that, you see a ladder extending upwards, disappearing into the ceiling. Okay. Straight up. And then, okay, so Khaled is going to travel farther. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. So he moves here. He says, ah, the control panel and even a ladder. Ha 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 ha. He calls back. That must be the way out. And that will end his turn, for which Adokul sees a big brute of an orc come emerging <laughs> from the tunnel. And it gives a, a, a big, a great guttural um, call outwards, like, Berkeley, stop them! <laughs> and he is going to... Back and like, get ready, guys. <laughs> he is going to set his sights on a dokel he's going to go for one <coughs> come on whoops oh he just fell yep <laughs> one two three and he's down four five and then move right there and then he's going to double move to get right there and then move to another hulking brute come out just reading some stuff real quick. Okay, so he's going to do the same thing. One, two, three, four, five. Then he stops and he takes another movement action to get right there. Osiris, you're up. Take a shot. 
All right, I will. <laughs> After ten. All right, guy, you're up. I will provoke from uh, one of those guys. Okay. So, or uh, two gets the attack of opportunity. He rolls a 28, which is a hit. So as you sidestep behind a Doku, he gets a he gets an attack on you. Slashing at you as you try to go past for 12 damage. Right. That uses uh, his like reaction. And then, second move action, another. That is correct. Harry, you are up. Do you think I could wait till the end of the round? Uh, yeah, you can hold your turn. And then uh, turn. just speak up whenever you want to go in before the end of this round, and then that will be your new your new turn in the initiative order. Okay. All right. Gotcha. All right, Viger, you're up. Five to hit. Nice. In addition to standard critical hit damage, your target is blinded until the end of its next turn. So, uh, which one did you go? Two. It was yeah. two. Yeah. So, Orog Militant Two gets an icy ray straight in its eye hole. Very nice. Seventeen damage and eleven damage. And they're both immobilized. Okay. Okay, and then your flaming sphere is a sustained minor. So you can sustain it until the end of the encounter. You just have to let me know that yeah. you sustain it. Okay. Thank you for that, guy. Right. Thank you so much for getting that for me. And then, uh, I get, Harry, I had that wrong. You can delay yeah. your turn until, until the, until your next turn in the round. Okay. It doesn't have, it doesn't, until, it, no, I, sorry, I, I still said that wrong. You can delay your turn up until the next time that your turn comes up in the combat tracker. Uh, okay, okay. I'll remember that. Alright. So, another orc drudge comes out of the tunnel. This one, seeing that it can't come through, is going to try to take another way across. One, two, three, four, five, six. One, two, three. Four, five, six, and it's going to call after Guy. Malagar, you are up. Alright. I'm going to move one, two, three, four, 
five, six. Can't cut that corner unless you want to make an acrobatics check to jump. I would love to make an acrobatics check. check. All right, go ahead. I will say 10. DC of 10. If I can get my skills page to open and up. And you are, let's see. You're 60 Come feet on. up right now. Why? Why won't this work? There we go. There we go, I saw it. 19. Nice. So you are able to nimbly... You are able to nimbly jump across that little gap. Nimbly bimbly. So that's five squares, I think. No, that was six. Oh, that was six? Okay. No, that was my six. Alright, since this guy is blinded, I get combat advantage against him. The combat advantage already uh, procs because he has the blinded uh, yeah. condition on him. I'll also, also take that yep. off. Okay, so you, you will, oh, you will get... Go. I got it. So you will get your uh, sneak attack if you hit. Sweet. Just sink a dagger into him. If I can. There you go. That is a hit. Hey. Oh, 23 damage and he is dying. So at yeah, that... Buddy. Okay, so real quick for me. I have a question. Um... Yeah. These guys have an ability where when an adjacent ally is first bloodied, they get an opportunity attack. So if it outright kills him, does that count? Yes. Okay, that's what I was thinking, but I wanted to clarify. Even if below zero, you're still considered bloodied. Okay, so the Orog militant, seeing at seeing his ally going down, he is going to make an attack against a Dokal. And he will use... He will cut a fierce counter-strike. For a 17 that misses, it clashes against a Dokal's shield. Doing nothing. With him as an opportunity attack, does that still count as any movement next to my flaming spear? Or is it only at the start of their turn or if they move by it? I'm sorry, repeat that. I, I, I was reading something. So, he's next to my flaming spear, spear or whatever? Yes. Does, do I get to hit that? Or is yes. it just an opportunity for him? So, is any creature that starts its next turn starts its turn next to the flaming Yeah, spear. that would take the uh, the other damage. So you have the regular attack, which is on yeah, your turn you can attack that, and then it has the other damage, which is, yeah, the 1d4, he would get that because he's he starts his turn, but that wasn't yeah. his turn, that was an opportunity right. action. That was I a reaction, I should say. No, you don't do damage to him. Oh, I it thought you signed it. No, it wasn't his turn. That was a, that was a reaction. That was just a reaction. Yeah. So he used an opportunity. Okay, Malagar, anything else? Oh, sorry. Uh, nope. Alright. Another orc drudge emerges. And he will... Let's see. He's going to run. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. And then he is going to charge Guy. So he gets eight speed while charging. One, two, three, four. Five, six, seven, and he is going to be not a valid charge. What was that? That's technically not a valid charge. With a charge, he has to come closer every square he moves, so he would have to make a jump over that corner. Okay. So I'm gonna start that over then. 
One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. So yeah, he would have to jump from here. No, uh, he just has to jump right where you uh, put where that. Where I made the arrow, basically. Okay. So I'm gonna have him make a strength check. Athletics. And he rolls a 22. Yeah, five would be sufficient. I'm just saying. Okay. I just I just picked a thing. Okay, so then he goes right there, and he rolled. Where was it? That was a miss. So he does not hit you. Wouldn't a wouldn't a jump be another move action by itself? No, a jump is part of any move action, really. Okay. All right. So a dokel, you are up. I'm gonna do uh, Arden Strike to this uh, orc guy here. All right. That is a hit. Dealing 13 damage. I'll jump in before the round ends. I'm gonna shift over one. Okay. All right, so we move to Harry, who will be, let's see. One second. Oh. <laughs> Too much I didn't shit. I realize you were way back there. Oh yeah, yeah. <laughs> At least do something this round. Oh, perfect. Okay, there we go. It is your turn. One, two, three, four, four. I'll just. Yeah. I'll double move for this one. Okay, you can get to the top of the stairs. One, three, four, five. Okay. There we go. And for this, I'll use up an action point and hit him with Avenging Light. Okay. Your bolt goes wide as he ducks his head out of the way. <laughs> Alright, Khaled is going to run forward. One, two, three, four, five. And then he's going to step one forward. And then he's going to nudge Guy. He says, quick, I got this. You, you get the control panel. Which will take us to... Alright. steps out from the tunnel face that you guys just kind of cleared out and he's going to shout a uh, a challenge to Osiris shooting a giant arrow from his big ass belly bow and it it goes wide right underneath Osiris's legs taking us to Orog Militant 1's turn he is going to now he starts. Like yeah. Here. He would take the damage now, Vigor. There we go. 10 damage to him. Damn. He's going to step forward one. Immobilized. Oh, he's immobilized. Yeah, he's immobilized. There we go. Good call. I can't. There we go. Okay. Shit. He ain't gonna do nothing. Yeah, he can't do anything. Yeah. Being immobilized next to the flaming sphere, yeah. I don't want to be immobilized. <laughs> <laughs> <Yeah>. Fuck. <laughs> he, uh, what did he get immobilized for? That was a dope My attack, icy right? Oh, your icy rays? Okay. So he's yep. kind of encased in ice and he's he's looking around 
kind of pissed off but fearful at the same time. Osiris, you're up. Sixteen hits. I okay, get to do double, baby. Thanks for the reroll. Twelve damage to him. All right. Uh, All right. As you move forward to attack this creature, you you hear the scraping and. Pounding steps of some creature trying to emerge from the tunnel. And you see this. Holy shit. <laughs> Step out of the tunnel face. When he emerges, stooped down low, he extends upright fully. And then he gives a great roar. <laughs> Points straight at you, Osiris. And then he uh, utters a guttural <laughs> challenge that only a dokal can hear from the from the distance can i get a shout out hey ryan lemery thank you for tuning in man nice to see you and he uh he gutter he he utters out a guttural challenge to osiris that only a dokal can hear from his distance atop the steps causing everybody to turn around and witness this giant massive orcish half ogre of a beast Kill them. And he is going to um, use a minor action to give a plus two bonus to the orc bolt thrower. So he kind of slaps. He kind of slaps it on the shoulder and ushers him forward. Guy, you are up. I need a little help, guys. <laughs> <laughs> You better run or what? <laughs> I can't work with orcs in my back. Let's take care of the orcs first and then let's see if they've got a panel. 20! Nice. He nods his head in approval at, at your behest. I. I've got your back. I like your accent. <laughs> <laughs> All right, killing that one, uh, I actually would, yeah. Go to the panel and look uh, what needs to be done, how fast things can be done. Okay. Kind of check with that VR, I don't know. Stepping over to the control panel, it's like a, it's like a, a metal plate with a bunch of like, knobs and shit on it that you are not sure what it does, but you can make me a... Let's see. There it is. Make me a... Uh, let's see. History check. No, 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 no. Make me a dungeoneering check. Not that Ooh, bad. 24 dungeoneering is... Definitely sufficient. So you can you can gather from looking at this that it seems to uh, control like levers and pulleys and switches, thinking that it's probably it probably opens and closes something. All right, I shout back to Khaled. All right, I got this. Keep keep me back free from Oryx. And for future reference, anything that um, you roll determining the uh, control panel, you get a plus five on because Khaled is in your party. So don't forget that. All right. So Viger, you're up. So I'm going to use my orb of imposition power to keep this guy immobilized for another turn. Oh, nasty. <laughs> <laughs> He's saying fuck you to that guy. <laughs> yep. So, I'm just gonna drag 
Good play, good play, bro. Okay. Then I think I'm going to move my sphere three to right there. And I will attack this guy. Okay. With the sphere. Vigor is learning. Mm, getting better. Somebody mm -hmm. learn how to play. Much better. And that's a hit. Very nice. Oh, oh not a one. Yeah. He yeah. beat it by four. <laughs> Ooh, he is down oh, wow. and dying. Hey, there's the big giant behind us. <laughs> <laughs> I think I'm gonna use my action point. I don't need to sustain that sphere anymore for my miner, right? Because you just have to do it once. No, you every single turn you have to sustain it. Okay. I think that sphere would be really useful. Besides. Yeah. I think I'm gonna use an action point and move my sphere. Can I still move it three and then six? So a total of nine or just six? Uh, one, no. In, in fifth edition, it works like that. In fourth edition, it's just a move action. So you already okay. used one move action, so you get one yeah. one more with that action point, so it would be six. One, two, three, four, five, six. Okay, so my just... question about that is, is that you have to move it through you and, and Harry in order for it to get there. So would that provoke? Does it only do damage if you start here? It's only if it starts, yeah, it's, so... starts a creature that starts its turn next to the flaming sphere. You can move through it. Yeah, you're correct. It only makes attacks and then any creature that starts its turn. So yes, you're correct. Yeah, so just don't end your turn by it if you're an ally. <laughs> I tell everybody. Stay away from my sphere. <laughs> Stay away from fire. Got it. And I'll sustain it and it'll end my turn. Okay. Alright, so I'm gonna run. Run the fuck out of here. Orc Drudge 3 is going to charge at Khaled. Right here. And he will make a club attack. So he swings down his club on Khaled's shoulder. Hitting him for five damage, which brings us to Malagar. Alright, uh, use my minor action to pull out a shuriken, and I'll move. One, two, three, four, five, six. Okay. Target this boy, throw a shuriken at him. Alright. 23 damage, or 23 to hit. No. For 12 damage, he is dead. Yeah. Kilted it. Kilted it. <laughs> <laughs> and that ends my turn. All right. Oh my God, he's got a giant head. Sorry about that. <laughs> no, that was that, that was actually me. <laughs> that wasn't even you. That was me. <laughs> okay, so that brings us. From behind the hulking savage warrior comes a uh, smaller, more slender figure. A comely that, lady. Yep. A comely female that, that goes to the bottom of the steps. She has ashen skin that does not seem to be natural of this world. And there's a shadowy tint to her. She will utter some words and then make a gesture at Osiris. Okay, there we go. Got it. Okay, so she gets uh, extra 1d6 because she cursed you, and then she will cast Spiteful Glamour at you. Um. 
which misses. Spiteful Galera. So she takes uh, this three damage because she missed her attack on me. Because she missed? Yeah, that's for my bond of retribution. That's what I attacked. Uh, no, 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 no. That goes to your uh, oath target, doesn't it? No, uh, that's it's my uh, the attack ability. So, first time an enemy other than the target hits or misses you before the end of your next turn, the target takes radiant damage. Yeah, your fire. target. So oh, you, my target does. So you oh, hit. Yeah, you hit the orc okay. bolt thrower. So he's your target. And any okay. other enemy, if they hit or miss you, the, your target takes the damage. So that would actually go to him. Does that make My sense? Bad. Yeah, so right. we'll take it off her and then we'll put it on him. Okay, sounds good. That's that's kind of how your that's that's kind of your class as the Avenger. Like even when other things hit you, you still damage your target. All right, and that will end her turn. Which another orc comes out and steps on the, on the stairs and this one will shoot a bolt shoot a uh, bow shoot an arrow from his belly bow at Osiris and he gets a 20 you're just soaking up 20s today yep. <laughs> which deals 7 damage because it was partially absorbed and then you get knocked back 1 okay, uh we gotta apply the negative three damage. Negative three to that? Okay. Yeah, for the shield of the faithful. All right. And that Center. brings us to a Doko. And I saw you got that damage on the Orc Bolt Thrower. So as these other enemies are kind of hammering at Osiris, um, the divine wrathful vengeance of his god, Kord, is pounding down on the Orc Bolt Thrower. <laughs> Um, do, you, do you have to be adjacent for that to, have to work? Or is it ranged? For what? Is um the not in the bond retribution. Yeah, the bond retribution. It it doesn't say. It just says uh enemy other than the target. Okay. I would I'm so, gonna rule that you don't have to be adjacent because it's like a divine sanction to deal damage because it's not his oath target that hit him. If that makes sense, what I just said. <laughs> Yep. All right, Adoko, you're up. Off on my turn. I'm sorry. What was that? I'm gonna hold off on my turn. Oh, okay. Harry, you're up. Oh, awesome. So what I want to do is throw a bunch of daggers from my bag of holding in a row behind me, if I can. Like so uh, where the like where the stairs are? Shops? What's that? Where the stairs are? Yeah, just you know as far as I can go, just to make some. Okay, some so uh, the the one thing about that that I see is uh, daggers that they, they would clatter to the ground and they they wouldn't um, stand up like caltrops, so it'd be pretty yeah. simple for them to to step over. Um, so I would say that probably wouldn't deal damage, but it would count as difficult terrain because they wouldn't want to step on the daggers because they would slide. Yeah, yeah, all right. Okay, so, uh, so if you want to, like, make a zone of that, it could be, like, two squares where you want it to be. The stairs are already difficult terrain, so... Yeah, and that'd be a nice addition to that. All right. A question about... Uh going over stairs can we jump over stairs to avoid the difficult terrain um so it's five feet up and across so you would have to be able to jump i don't know like seven feet or something like that so it would just be like an athletics check but yes all right i'll throw a bunch of daggers on these two squares okay Like that? Those two? Okay. So then that would take some daggers out of your inventory. You have 16. How many? All of them? 
Yeah, oh, yeah, that's yeah, what more it takes. Than that. Yeah, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 21. <laughs> you have a lot of daggers. Yeah, useless. That's a lot of daggers. Yeah, I'll throw. Yeah, that's why I died. <laughs> let's let's throw ten of them. We'll see. All right, let's do that. Thanks. All right. Would you like to do anything else? Oh, what sort of action did that take? Um, so I'm going to rule that that was your standard action because you have to take all the daggers out and that would take time out of your bag of holding and then throw them out. So you still have a movement and a minor. All right. Yeah, I can still step back. One, two, three, and I'll stay right there. Okay. That takes us back to Khaled, the paladin. He is going to step over by you guy and say, I'll hold your flank. You focus on the control panel. Get those switches going. And orc bolt thrower. Or actually, I gotta do this first. Okay. Um. Okay, so the orc bolt thrower, one, is going to shoot his, no, he's going to uh, step up with his battle axe now, so he's going to toss his belly bow and then pick, pick up his battle axe. He is going to attack Osiris with a 25 to hit. And that deals eight damage. Run. Now... An orc drudge comes out of the tunnel entrance, and he is going to attack Osiris. You apply this for a bit. Yep. What the fuck did you do to Ryan to make him so angry at you? <laughs> <laughs> fuck you. <laughs> you got that? Oh, that you got it. Okay. Yep. So he deals two damage to you. Nice. Osiris, you're up. And you take damage from being... By that ball. All for the face. <laughs> so if I, if I run away, do I take uh, opportunity Possibility. attacks? Possibility. <laughs> you have to shift and then move away. Yeah, you have to shift and then move. Damn. Or if you just straight move, you would get an opportunity attack from both of them. So I, if I shift once... That, that's like one movement? Yes. Aren't, aren't and then I have to do like a regular move. The same movement? Okay, so let me... Isn't double moves have to be the same movement? Yeah. It, he's, he's not double moving though, he's shifting and then moving. But that's a double... Shift. That's yeah, a double that's movement. Double move. That's two moves. Whenever you take two movement actions on your turn, it's, it's considered a double move. Okay, so... Okay. So I buy a. Hmm. You can double shift or double. Run. Fuck. So how? Like, is it a regular opportunity attack? Just a base. One? Yeah, it's just a basic attack from both of them. Okay. Well, first thing is I'm gonna use this uh, silver shadow. Okay. Which is a minor. It gives me plus five plus. Gives me a bunch of hit points, and it gives me a uh, concealment. Yep. So concealment, I think, is a, a minus two to attacks made against you. Yep. Yep. And it okay, lasts so until gonna... you don't have temporary hit points, so you need to keep your temporary hit points up. All right. So uh, can I uh, do a run double move from them? Yep. Does running give me like negative? Stands. Yeah, running gives you two extra squares of movement, but you take a minus five to your next attack, I think. To my next attack? Yeah, it, it lasts It lasts until, until like yeah, it lasts yeah. until your next turn. Okay, so I'll uh, double move then. Okay. Uh, and run. So one, Okay, two. stop right there. I want to resolve the opportunity attacks first. Uh, bastards. <laughs> <laughs> just, 
Does he get the run action put? Does he get the run condition put on him right away or not till the end? Yeah, because because he's he's running, so it would definitely go right away. Okay, orc bolt thrower one swipes down with his axe, and it misses Osiris's leg, just lagging behind him. The orc drudge will stab forth with his sword, and he gets a hit for uh, two damage. Absorbed. So that was absorbed. Okay, so you can finish your move. Two, three, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. And then it's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. All right. You can move diagonally as well as you, you want to. Yeah, if you move diagonally, you could get just past Malagar, like right there. Exactly. All right. Then I will do that. All right. <laughs> yeah, and my turn. All right. Up to the hulking yes. warrior. He is going to uh, call out in fury and push his way past these guys. So that's one, two, three, um, four, five. Actually, you can't go five. Um, I'll give I'll give you damage because he steps in the sweat in the square of that sphere. Figure. Walking, you need to squeeze, which is a move action in itself. Perhaps. I'm okay with that. Uh, eight what about damage. Those yeah, so that that's five, six. So he's gonna double move. Seven, eight, nine, ten. He can move right there, and then he is going to use an action point. <laughs> Vigar. You're about to get pounded, bro. After using, okay, so he used two move actions. He has a minor action where he will point at Veger while he's running at him to get some damage. Oh, whoops, I put that on the right guy. Okay, this is gonna hurt. I just want you to know that. This is it's not gonna looking hurt. good. <laughs> this is gonna hurt a lot. <laughs> get the lube out. <laughs> Okay, so he, he's calling out a challenge as he runs forward at Vigor, shouting in his tongue, You die now! And he just gets to hit me no matter what? <laughs> yeah. Well, he's using a hat. Auto hit. No, he's using an action point now. So he is going to... Alright. Use this ability that allows him to make an attack and then he can shift and make another attack afterwards. What the fuck? So he rolls a 21, which is a hit against Vigor. What is my thing? You're dead. Your AC? Yeah, where Roll. is that? 18? In the main. It's not you 18. Got some in your main. You got 18. Yeah, 18. So can I use my shield to avoid this hit? <laughs> uh, your, your armor class is 18. It's a plus okay. four. So, oh, yeah. it, that's a uh, reaction. Yeah, it is. So that would make that a miss? Yes, it would. Like okay, go ahead. Yes. Thank you. Learn their skills. Getting pretty good, Caleb. There we go. He's paying attention for once. <laughs> so that makes that a miss. Gangsta. Gangsta, gangsta. I got too much crap on my screen. Okay, so he actually ends up missing because at the very at the last second, Vigor moves his hands in a gestation, and then a, a shimmering aura of force energy goes around him, and the sword bounces off of it. So he does not get an attack against you. He looks pissed. He's very mad. So that takes his turn. We go to Guy. I'm gonna take my turn now. Okay. Oh, yeah. Abdokul. 
I'm going to move up to him. And I will do uh, a majestic halo on his ass. Okay. Ooh, what is that? On his ass. <laughs> on his ass. He likes it. All right, that is very good. 22 damage. And then anybody that uh, starts to turn next to me is sanctioned for the rest of the round. Yes. The end of the next round. And you need I'm gonna, check him. I'm going to use my action point. What are you using your action point for? I'm gonna do an enfeebling strike. Okay. Ooh, perfect. You really my sword is looking good. Nope, there is no fumble oh, effect. Not again. So, well, you extend your shield upward with the, uh, the symbol of your goddess, Evandra, uh, emblazoned on the, on the surface. And, Flashing, blinding light forms around your head, forming a halo. And you are challenging all the creatures around you. You swipe with your sword that, at that awkward angle, it, it just misses completely. All right. Guy, you are up. I first I uh, tell Kellett, I'll go back there, or I always need you. I have this. Go back. Go back. I. Uh, secondly, I would uh, ask. Um, Alagara, would you mind uh, climbing the ladder and checking if that is the exit? Already on it. I actually, try to work the controls here. Okay, so it is either dungeoneering or thievery. Wow, oh, it's dungeoneering. And you said plus five? Because, plus five. Uh, right. 28. All right, so you are able to, looking at this control panel, the knobs on the left, you're kind of messing around with them, and then you, uh, you accurately decide to move one of the knobs into position, and then it, it, you hear a uh, clinking noise and, and a, a loud squealing kind of like rusty hinges and then uh you can basically tell that fl uh, boiling water is flooding through excuse me those pipes at the bottom right uh can i determine how much needs to be done still um, or is that one knob sufficient there are two more knobs all right and that was a standard action i take it yes all right then i will end my turn okay Another orc drudge comes out of the tunnel face, but it is going to uh, stay behind, seeing no purchase to get behind to get from Tusk. So Veger, you are up. So Thunderwave that hits allies too. Yes. Well, it targets allies too if you hit, is depending on the roll. Yeah, well, I don't know. off the ledge. Yeah. Can, I give him, can I give him my move action so he can run away from me? No. <laughs> Good try, but no. I'm on the way forward. Do it. So you can target Thunderwave, uh, not targeting your allies though, it's a, it's a blast, not a burst. Is it a blast? Yeah, it's a blast. Oh, I always Ooh. thought it was a- I always thought it was a burst. <clears throat> Damn. You know, yeah, bro. you can do that. Do it either. So I can hit him with it? Yes, yeah. you can definitely hit him with it.
I don't know why I thought that was a burst this whole time. Yeah, I thought it was a burst this whole time, too. <laughs> <laughs> and he okay. rolls a three. I'm, I'm used to well. You cast, you you move your hands in, into position, practicing from years reading your books, and then you send the energy out forth that seems to just blow off of the hulking savage who is able to withstand the energies against him. And I'm gonna retry that. Rewind. Miss. I'm gonna use memory of a thousand lifetimes. Oh, okay. that. 26 Ooh. hit. Oh yeah, babe. 26 will... Done, bro. Dunzo. What is that verse? Fortitude. Will it? Yeah. That the is a hit. The idea is that you can uh, do a plus 6 on the modifier and then just drag the number onto him again to see if it hits. How would I do that? Because the roll was already made. Yeah, um, you just uh, put in the modifier next to the dice, um, scroll the wheel up until it shows plus six, okay. and then you just drag and drop the rolled number from the chat. I guess I'm not quite understanding that. Yeah, neither do I. But uh, it does it does hit. Hover the, the mouse over the modifier box next to the dice. Yes. Right? And then you roll up the mouse until it says plus six. Yes. And then you drag the twenty that he rolled there. And oh, drop it on the you drag the twenty on here. that. The twenty, yes. Oh, okay. I was dragging the plus six to the twenty, gotcha. That same roll. Okay, that makes sense. A 26 does hit. Oh yeah. <laughs> uh, so that will deal 12 damage. And it pushes them. How many squares? Wisdom modifier. My wisdom modifier, which is four. Okay, so oh. it will push him four. Oh, we'll back. So he gets blasted back. Running Orc into Rizzi. Orc Drudge 7, who will go Orc, cascading Orc. off of the ledge, and oh. the Orc Bolt Thrower will fall prone behind him. <sighs> My miner, I'm gonna sustain the ball. Okay. You hear a loud <laughs> as the Orc goes 60. cascading off of the ledge. 60 feet to fall in damage, you said? He's dead. He's definitely dead. Um, that would be that would be 50 for the ledge. Every every time you Actually, go up. How does fall damage work in this version? Um, a D10 per 10 feet, I think. Falling damage, yeah. Okay. So is, it, is, it, is, it, is it per 10 like after the first 10 or just per 10 period? Per 10 feet. So he would have taken 52 points of falling damage. Ouch. And... So, I still have a movement, right? Yes. Would I be able to move my ball? <laughs> yes. And have it sit right there? Um, it's suspended in air? Yes. Yeah. yeah, I'll rule that's fine. So, like, alright, good. And then, all the fire. that'll be... All right, Malagar, you are up. I'm gonna double move past Osiris and up the ladder. Okay. One, two, three, and I immediately start climbing. So you climb, climb up, climb up, all hun all way hundred feet. That's a. Uh, what would that? While be? I climb fast. Yeah, okay. hundred feet oh. minus the sixty is the top, so that's forty feet. What's forty divided by five? Oh my god. Eight. 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 Um, so that's eight squares of movement. So double moving, you can definitely get to the top. Um, you, you get past the ceiling and, and just at the top, uh, you see a little like latch, like an escape hatch. 
Uh, can I use my minor action then to mess with it, or is double move take up my whole turn? No, you can use your minor action. Okay, I will attempt to open the door. Okay, so you push on the door and it doesn't give right away. There is a there is a small handle that you you find you are able to turn, and you're able to push the doorway open. Peeking through, you find yourself in a mountainous scene with uh, rugged trails around you. Uh, this is not an easily, uh, an easily, how do I want to say? This is not an easy area to track around, um, which works to the advantages, which works to the advantage of um, concealing this hatch in the mountainous foothills of the Stone Ridge Mountains. Okay. Can I end my turn? All right. Am I still on the ladder, like with my head peeking out type of thing? Yes. Okay. Okay, so the female... Could is... she take damage from that or no? Yes. Oh, yeah. Perfect. Actually, I'm sorry, can I talk at the end of my turn? Yes. This is an exit! I shout down. <laughs> <laughs> Everybody else yeah. sees a, a, a black head poke out from the top of the ceiling just to, just to say, This is an exit! <laughs> The female grimaces as in pain as she uh, casts another dark glamour onto Adokal, cursing him. She will cast... Let's see. She likes me. She will cast Spiteful Glamour on Adokal. Oh my god, and she misses again. Hmm. do I want to do? Could you kick me? Kick you? Are you having well, issues? Since the ground uh, has kicked me basically, I'm trying okay. to reconnect and it tells me I'm already reconnected. Okay, um, I just kicked you. See if it... Yeah. She is going to move forward. Two, three, four, five, six. Shit, she can't move there. So she is just going to move right there. All right, orc bolt thrower two can take damage from you, Vigor, for that ball. takes eight damage and let's see if he can hit you so you would be 20 feet up and you are nine squares away so that is 9.85 he can hit you with his belly bow he hits with a giant arrow smacking you straight in the chest pushing you back one to Harry. Okay. So I'm going to use Grasping Shards where Orc Bolt Thrower 1 stands, and that's a uh, area burst 1. Okay. So I can target all four of these guys. Yes. Hit, miss, automatic miss, hit. So you get rolled one, one. <laughs> oh, you got a fumble effect. Your knee hyperextends awkwardly. You have quarter movement speed and cannot charge for 1d4 rounds. <laughs> oh, okay. I mean, well, quarter okay, speed. So, ooh, Ouch. Yeah. You As a dwarf. Ouch. <laughs> yeah. How many rounds is that going to be? Uh, movement is ordered and cannot charge for four rounds. Damn, bro. So you can't start charge until speed. round eight. Just start running to the ladder now. <laughs> 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 
Okay, so I'll finish. And they're also slowed. Alright. Six damage to them. And they are slowed. Shards of magical arcane energy emit outwards and burst forth. Some of them are, are able to dodge, but the female and one of the orcs get smacked, slowing them. Smacked. Okay. Um, I'll use an action point right now. Well, I'm not too far. And I'll use Thunder of Judgment on the Hulking Savage, the Orc Bolt Thrower, and What's your speed? Five? Yeah, five. So you can only move one because you round down. <laughs> yeah. Just letting you know. You can move one square. <laughs> well, his speed is one, he can still run for three. Yeah. <laughs> oh, yeah. That's two. Very good. Uh, also, could you reposition me on the map or anything? Because oh, the gotcha. maps are yep. blank again for me. I gotcha. Awesome. Alright, are you doing anything here else, Harry? Yeah, I used my action point so I can use another attack. Okay. So, I'm targeting the comely female, the Voltor one, and the Hulking Savage. Oh, yes. Okay. And I'll add three to my attack roll for my covenant. Uh, they have to be within range, I think. No, 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 you're right. It's a, for an encounter power. Okay. Yep. Yep, I gotcha. I follow. Yeah. One miss and a critical hit and another hit. You are able to hit two of them. Yes. Okay. That's All right. 13 damage and 17 damage to the hulking savage warrior. He cries and out with a gruff. Three. And the ones that I hit are dazed and pushed. Okay. Three. So Is that the, the female. The female got pushed. The one that fell prone is unaffected because it, it. Wait, 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 wait. No. That one. I guess. Uh, I got too much shit in the way. Okay. So it hit the uh, female, it hit the savage warrior, and it missed the orc bolt thrower. So the female gets also pushed back. Savage. Yeah. I said yeah. that. He's got to get pushed through, too, yeah. Yeah. So. He can't get pushed through allies, though, so I'm going to have them make some uh, saving throws real quick. Okay, so the, uh, the drudge manages to stand its ground, getting pushed into the wall, basically, and the, uh, the bolt thrower ends up falling prone. <laughs> to which oh, nice. the hulking warrior gets pushed backwards. We'll say right there. Awesome. Okay. And in that case, I think I still have my movement from the first. No, you you moved one. Well, okay, I'm done then. All right. <clears throat> Another drudge. I'm screaming out one, two, three, four, five, six. And he will charge a dokel. One, two, three. Swinging his club, hitting him in the knee, dealing five damage. Brings us to the top of the order. To Khaled. Khaled will start running f uh, towards the danger at the behest of Guy. Two, three, 
four, five. One, two, three, four, five. Taking his torch with him. That takes us to the Orc Bolt Thrower 1. We can take damage from you, Caleb. He falls down, or he is down, and the flames lick him, his dead body. <laughs> you hear a uh, guttural yell coming from behind you now as an orc appears from this door, from this tunnel. So one, two, three, four, five. He's going to stop there, and then he's going to charge Veger. One, two, three. He gets a hit with a 25, dealing five damage. And that takes us to Osiris. So, I will target this guy. All right. And I will do an old. And I will do a really strike. That is a miss. So I still do a half damage and not healing surge. So how do I do half damage? First if of you... all, you should not have um, minus five because the running should have ended oh. on you. Okay. Uh, and maybe it's a hit then. That should have ended, but it, it didn't. Okay, so that would be renewing strike minus, that would be 15. 15 hit. 15 versus reflex. Um, yes, that would hit. Modifier trick. Oh, nice. I I forgot. <laughs> so, uh, do I apply damage? Yes. So, uh, do we start moving towards the stairs, or are we going to kill yes. these guys? Oh, uh, I guess we start moving towards the stairs, and while we're doing that, we're killing the guys. Alright. So I'm here, I'll, I'll just, uh... Fighting retreat. <laughs> I'll stay right here. So I will, uh... I'll move right here, just so I can get a little bit closer range. Then I'll end my turn. Okay. Can I draw my guy real quick? I should have like a thing I can copy and paste. I think it would be a lot better. Alright, so the hulking savage warrior is going to come forward. One, two, three, four. And he takes 10 damage from the f from the flames. Ooh, bloody. Mm. He's going to double move to get right here. He's dazed. He, there's no double move for him. Okay. For, I always forget that. Thank you for reminding me. Good catch. So that's as far as he can move. <clears throat> Adopal, you're up. Go right, uh, after this trudge five. That would do ardent strike on him. All right. That is a miss. I will then shift that one. Okay. <laughs> We move on to Guy. Our uh, next button, I guess, with Dungeoneering again. Okay. Still with for five? Yes. Uh, 
Is that sufficient? A 19? I have to... Uh... Yes, right. that is sufficient. Nice. You are able to press down another switch, letting more water come through. Orc Drudge 6. 3, 4, 5. And he is going to charge forth at Vigor. Swinging his club, hitting him with a 29, Ooh. dealing 5 damage. <coughs> And another orc comes screaming out of the tunnel up to the top. One, two, three, four, five with a charge. That Khaled. Hitting him with a 21, dealing five damage. And it is Vigor's turn. Retreat over here, I can heal ya. the enemies so I can't really tell you. There's a, there's a dude in front of me, do I have to shift and then move? No, that should be the wild move. thing, yeah, shift you can, and then run. You can shift, but you have to, in order to move again, you have to shift again. Because you have to do, if you're moving twice, you have to, uh, um, in order to move twice, you have to do the same movement action, I believe. Uh, no, you can combine them. Uh, to um, get extra squares, for example, if you have speed 5 uh, through difficult terrain, you can make a double move to actually move 5 squares, but you can just take two different move actions, stand up and move, for example, or, uh, I don't know, So crawl and then stand up or something like that. So is a double move, like, what's, what's the double move then? The double move is basically only there to uh, get you extra squares that you would lose from from rounding down. So, for example, in difficult terrain, if you move half speed, you have speed five, for example, and then you in the difficult terrain you could move two squares, and with another move action, another two squares, which is four. But if you make it a double move, you count it as one action, basically moving ten squares uh, in difficult terrain, which means five. That gives you an extra square, basically. So double moves are only you know relevant in situations where you your speed would be rounded down or something. Oh, okay, I see what you mean. Okay, that's different than what we were playing it then. Uh, so I guess let's change that right now. You can. You can move, and then you can do a different type of movement. So, and then move. Shift and run would be good. Yep, shift and then run, bro. Run. That's that's what I was saying earlier. Like you should be able to shift away from an enemy and then also yeah. move away from. Them. Yeah, yeah, I I guess I was uh, interpreting interpreting the rules wrong then. It's all good in the hood. <laughs> That's one shift, and then you just gotta run, right? Yep. Run seven or eight. Or eight. Eight. Yeah, eight. So on page four, it says a, it says a double move. To double move, you have to take the same move action twice in a row on the same turn. Yeah, two double move, but you don't need two double move if you take two move actions. Yeah, so that is that is the uh, difference that I that I guess we were getting confused on. A double move is a specific type of movement. And if you want to take two movement actions, that doesn't automatically make that a double move. It's two different no. movement actions, if that exactly. makes sense. Because the, the, the reason why a double move would come into play is if, say, you're a dwarf and you have five movement, 
when you go into difficult terrain, you can only move two because it has each square of movement is an extra square. So if you need to move across a lot of difficult terrain, you're going to want to double move in order to get across it because then that would change your total movement to 10, meaning that you can move five squares. Versus everything where movement speed is half, basically. Yeah. Versus doing two independent movements, then you're moving four. Or exact. Uh, yes. Okay. And we get the ass over here. But then that's my minor, I'll sustain that thing. And Are you keeping your ball floating over there? Yep. How far away is it? Two, Alright, I would like to use my movement action to get up onto the surface. And I would like to take a long and look around to make sure our coast is clear. Can uh, I can I like use my standard action to do this to take my time and get some sort of uh, bonus to my perception roll? I'm sorry, repeat that. Uh, could I use my standard action to make this perception roll to make sure I get like a proper awareness of our surroundings and I get some sort of bonus to my perception if I do that? Spend more time working around than normal. You still have inspiration. So you can roll twice and use the higher result. Because I gave you inspiration from your uh, role play with you and Osiris, if you remember. Uh, no, but... Okay. I'll accept it. <laughs> where to... Where is it? It's not on your thing. I, I'm I'm saying that. So you would you would gotcha. roll twice, and then we'll just use the higher result. All right, let's do it. <laughs> that was good. Okay. One is one is higher. Yes. So uh, yeah. with with uh with that perception, you're looking around and and you're uh you're you're casting your glance pretty fast, but you do not notice any danger immediately. You do not notice. You don't see any reason why you would be hindered in leaving this hatch. I shut down. Coast is clear. <clears throat> All right, so the female is going to step forward. Hey, Vigor, did you just move your guy? Yeah, after my turn, no. Yeah, I not, saw a move. Just, no. I didn't press anything. <laughs> Something happened. I my nose. <laughs> Something happened. It's that freaking ghost, huh? Right, let's see. Well, it's gotta be either you or Vigor. One of the two. I was typing in the notes about this thing, but I didn't know how to speak the synopsis. Okay. <laughs> hmm. Hmm. She's gonna move there, and she is going to. She's also dazed. Oh my god! <laughs> Until the end of her turn. Fucking a. I'm not sure if she moved too far for slowed. I couldn't see it. Slowed. Is that a two movement speed of two? Slowed speed speed half. Speed halves. Okay, so she wouldn't have one, two, three. That's just it. Actually, she's gonna go there. Okay. No, she can go on the other one. No, she'll go there. Okay, so that's all she can do. The crowd control this party has is ridiculous. Sometimes. Yeah. What the fuck, guys? You're shitting case. on my parade. You are shitting on my parade. <laughs> Alright. <clears throat> Orc Bolt Thrower 2 is going to shoot a bolt. at Harry trying to knock Khaled off the ledge. He misses. So it doesn't do anything. Or Drudge 
is going to come out of the tunnels. And he is going to... One, two, three, four, five. He is going to charge at the Dokal. Right here. So he's going to make a 17 to hit, which is not enough. Harry, you are up. Great, so I should be able to ship that one, right? Yes. And I am going to use Grasping Shards on the bottom right corpse, so I can just target Drudge 10 and 9. All right. Because <laughs> your Sunday afternoon got taken up? Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, man. <laughs> okay, they fall. Yes. Beautiful. Yeah. And then I'll target myself with my invoker defense. Okay. There's a st stack of bodies going up there. Yeah. <laughs> oh, yeah. We were building our own defenses. All right, Orc Judge five. Come on, just fucking look at him. There we go. All right, Orc Judge five is going to step forward and attack Adoko. With a 12, that is not sufficient. They've only got five points on me this whole time. Yeah? <laughs> <laughs> got that plate armor, bro. Alright, Khaled is going to step forward. One, two, three, four. Just enough. And he's going to challenge Orc Judge 6. Okay, let's see. What can I do? He is going to use Arcing Smite to attack both of them, Orc Judge 5 and 6. So this is a plus 8 versus AC. He gets a miss and a hit. Deals 17 damage to, to 6, felling him, and then he... Uh, that's it. We go to another one. Oh my goodness. I need to like find somebody that I can hire to uh get a dead icon. Do do my uh fucking yeah, all that shit. Dead icons and all that. Important judges are there. Well, they keep streaming through. From across the way, you may see this. I think Veeger is the only one that does. An orc climbs down the ladder, and then he comes making his way up. Making his way downtown. <laughs> yeah, I just saw a glimpse of him. Is it by the 10 circle? Or? Yeah, it's where Gamble threw his light. All right, and so he is running. Suicide and bro. another one comes comes running. The same. He's also running. And we go to Osiris. So I'm gonna target this guy. I can't target him. There you go, you got him. Got him now? Yep. Alright, now I'm gonna attack him with a couple of oath on him just in case, and then I'll do Radiant Vengeance. That is a hit. 
he is yeah. dead. Alright. Uh, should we move towards the stairs now? Can I do a nature check on this? Uh, Y'all need to get to the platform with the control panel. Yeah. Yes, you can do a nature check. Yeah, let me think, check that guy. So... You, from prior knowledge of the other um, Orogs, you know that this is an Orog, but you don't know anything else. It's just a big giant ass Orog, one of the big ones, one of the big boys. Hi y'all. All right, guys, get your ass over here. I'm gonna start moving towards the control panel. Alright. <clears throat> Another orc drudge comes out. And you hear a lot of uh, yelling and footsteps on the uh, pathway below you coming towards you. Which takes us to the hulking savage warrior. And he is no longer dazed. Okay, let's see. <laughs> One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. So he has to double move in order to get there. Um, let's see. He is going to use a minor action, Champion Scorn, to target a Dokal as his scorn target. Miss. And that will take his turn. It's a minor action. Uh, Dokal, you are up. I will. Doing feebling strike on him. All right. That is a miss. And then I will... I'm gonna... Leave. I'm not gonna shift, I'm just gonna go away. Okay, so he will get an opportunity attack against you? You betcha. Alright. So when you step back, he takes... Takes a swing at you with his falchion. Let's go to Adoko. That is a miss. Alright. Uh, the dead body is an extra square movement. There you go. Alright, Guy, you're up. All Let's right. see, First can you all, get this? First of all, as a minor action, I would heal uh, Igar. Okay. Vigor heals for 14. Very nice. Thank you. And then I guess we are sufficiently drawn to the platform that I ah, I will uh, attempt to do the final step there. All right. Eighteen is just enough. And at the final at the final throw of the last switch, you hear a big loud rusting on his hinges and suddenly you see water start to fill the chamber, boiling water with mist on the top. Would you like to do well, anything else? Yes, um take the run action and uh, climb the the ladder as far as I can get up. Okay. So one, two, three, and then uh, 
it's eight squares up, so. So you get three squares up the ladder. So four, so yeah. He's got five moves up. Speed, so I guess I get uh, two up, six to go. Okay. Malgar's at the very top, right? No, I'm um off the ladder. Oh, you are? Okay. On the ground. Because remember I told you I used my open action to get the rest of the way up. Oh, okay. And take a look around. Gotcha. Alright, anything else, guy? Oh, that's it. Veger, you're up. Climb! Climb! I'm gonna wait for Harry because he's still slow. <laughs> so I'll just yeah. my ball. One, One, two, three, four, uh, five. I think he's got that going on for another two turns, I believe, yeah. I'm not gonna attack that guy with it. Okay. You got a hit. For 15 damage. Yeah. And sustain that as my minor. And okay. And my turn. Alright. Malagar, you are up. And you are on am the I top. Ab yeah, am I able. Yeah, I'm at the top. Am I able to look down the, 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 the trap door, basically, and be able to see the enemies that are. Over by Khaled? No, because the, the ladder disappears into the ceiling a little bit before it gets to the hatch, so you would not be able to see without uh, climbing down the ladder. And I'm not going to climb down the ladder because that would just clog everyone up. So I sit up here. I'll go. I have a rope. Ready yet. Harry will need help. Right here. Sure enough. Okay, uh, I take out my hemp and rope. Uh, is there any like trees or a uh, stable boulder or anything I can tie it around near the entrance to this? Yes, uh, it's a uh, it's it's kind of like a broken up foothills with with some heavy rocks around, um, sparse trees. So yes, you would be able to find something. You find a uh, a. Uh, steady enough tree around a pine that you are able to uh, fasten the rope around. Alright, then I do that. Alright. And then I'll hold the bundle at the top of the trap door. I don't want to drop the rope okay. on my so allies climbing up. 50 feet of rope would extend, from where you have it, it would extend to just above the uh, level. I will, I will say probably like uh, 10 feet up from the ground. Okay. So... Uh, if, if, if we're thinking of this for Harry, he would have to climb up 10 feet in order to touch the rope. I shout down, I'm about 10 feet short. He can see really well from up there. <laughs> okay, so the comely female will now... No, she is not dazed. She will <laughs> curse Harry. No. And then she will use Curse Bite to get Adokal, Harry, and Osiris. Ooh, damn, that Affects hard. all creatures suffering from Warlock's Curse. You good. Okay, so she misses Osiris and she hits Harry and Adoko. This deals 15 damage to both. Wow, okay. And the curse is just an attack. Yes. So both Harry and Adoko feel the, the uh, what would you call this, the necrotic energies course through them, biting down into their souls. Moves us to Orc Bolt Thrower 2, who is going to come up. 
One, two, three, four, five, six, six. Okay, so he is going to attack Harry. Getting a 20. Mm. Critical hit. So he deals 12 damage, and then you get pushed. Um, I have a dwarf. So yep. Go ahead and roll your saving throw. Well, the saving throw is for prone, and I just get pushed one less. Oh, normally. you just get pushed one less? Okay. Gotcha. Yep. Because dwarf. Alright, Harry, it is your turn. Okay. I'll start with the second one. Okay. Where is Harry actually? I cannot even see the token. Really? <laughs> I'm to the right of a token. Just to the right of a token. Which I also cannot see. Huh. Oh. <laughs> and I can see no enemies. <laughs> Really? All right, I'm gonna I'm gonna try the trick again to. We're moving. Yeah. Caleb's plugged. He's not even part of this group. <laughs> <laughs> he's already outlasted his usefulness. We got the the control panel working. All right, you're uh, back on. Can you see? Less than before. Really? I can see the circles and the drawings, and that's it. Oh my goodness. Well, you're on the ladder, so just for the sake of keeping it moving. Let's go to Harry. Sure, I mean, I can play. I would just like to know who is in the range for my healing and stuff. Okay. Um. Yeah. I think Harry would be in range. <laughs> if you could see him. What are you doing, Harry? Oh, I want to run my three squares if I can. Okay. Here, I'm going to go on. Two, three, right there. <laughs> so, guy can see. Can you see that? No. Guy, bold your shoulder. But I can put a marker to where you are, uh, if you can tell me where you are. You would be right... Here, can you see that? Right, that one. Can you see it on the Discord video? Okay, he is, he is... Hold up, he is five squares away, and you are two squares up, correct? Yeah. So he's, a uh, 5.39 squares, so you can... So yeah, he's uh he's five squares away from you. You're five five point three nine, I should say. So it's a little over five. Whoa, what happened? Oh, did you end your turn? Oh, I did. Okay, sorry. Gotcha. Okay. So we go to Khaled, who is going to um, use Holy Strike on this guy. Or wait. Kills. Would Khaled, would Khaled attack him, or would he try to go with you guys? How bloodthirsty is he? He's not very bloodthirsty. He's a holy right. paladin, more about worship of Morden. All right. You can't uh, kill more enemies of Morden, and you can't worship him if you're dead. <laughs> so he he notices. Okay, so he notices that the chamber is flooded. Ha ha! We did it, heroes! Quickly, climb the ladder. And then he is going to. He can't shift back, so he's just going to move. So he moves. And the warrior, Hulking Savage Warrior, is going to get an opportunity attack against him. Uh, 
The lead miss. <laughs> and that is a miss. So then he will. It's one, two, three, four, five, and then one, two, three, four, five. So he double moves. Taking us to or Judge 13. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Fourteen. Okay, another orc judge comes out of here. One, two, three, four, five, six. Okay, so he is going to charge Osiris. So he's going to do that same thing. One, two, three, Bring it. four, five. Make a strength check. Fumble it, fumble it, fumble it. Remember, I got concealment. And he got 20. So he is going to, is to make that jump. This jump? Okay. Yeah. So he Holy jumps shit. across. Holy shit. <laughs> what the fuck? So he just fucking hunkers down and just makes the long jump of his life and then makes a cut at Osiris. <laughs> Dealing. 11 for a, a hit. That is a miss. Holy shit. Orc Drudge 11 is going to move up next to this guy. And we move to Osiris. Yeah, to fuck this dude up. Oh yeah. That is a hit. Most definitely, he is dead. Yeah. Okay. Now, can I use a minor action to tie the rope? I think I should have rope. Let me check. I have rope. I believe you have rope. Rope temp right there. Yeah, we all do. So, can I use that to tie it? The Might rope is still tie. extending 10 feet above you, so you would not be able to reach it. Oh, can I move and then tie it? Um, so Guy is on the ladder, <clears throat> and he is 10 feet up, I think. So he's kind of blocking yep. the way. Yeah, I'm like six foot six, and I like jump. <laughs> you can toss the rope to him, and then he toss would be able rope. to tie it. Okay, let me toss yeah, the rope up to him. Okay. Boom! Tie it up, guy. So you toss the rope. Um, make me a. Let's see. What would that? Range be? attack. Right. No, Basic make range me. Attack. I was gonna say, uh, Osiris can definitely toss it, but in order for guy to catch it. Make me a, an athletics check, guy, in order to catch the rope. Oh, okay. Uh, I was thinking DC 10. I miss it, I guess. Yeah. So, Cyrus, you toss the rope up to Guy, and Guy goes down to try to catch it, but it's at an awkward angle, so it actually falls off the ledge into the water. Oh, motherfucker, my rope. <laughs> <laughs> Alright, so, uh... <laughs> you lose your rope. <laughs> Alright, so uh, then, uh, can I climb up the ladder? Yes. Alright, let me climb up the ladder. Get out of here, then. Alright, so that's one, two squares of movement. You have six left, so you can get up four, but guys in your way, so you can only go one up the ladder. Okay. Throw them off. But you could move through allied squares, right? Yep. That doesn't make sense. That, I would say no in this I'm instance. I'm yeah. <laughs> I, would, I would say no because, yeah, the ladder. I can hover, right? 
All right, this drudge is going to run up. Come on, work with me. Oh, it's fucking an, it's it's a fucking nightmare to get all these conditions and everything working. All right, so the hulking savage. Let's see. One, two, three. Four, five. One, two. So he gets right up to a dopal. Taking the damage from from uh, Vigor's <coughs> from Vigor's flames has to double move to get up. That's as far as he can go. I see neither of them. He's pretty close. Adokal, you are up. ten from Harry. Orc is one from Adokal. One square. I'm gonna use, uh... Righteous Might. Okay. Can you see your guide guy? I'll... Snipping uh, to what I can see. Okay, because he was just moving around on my screen, and it wasn't me. So I don't know what's going on with that. I, I unmasked the map again because of being on the ladder. Hmm. Go ahead. Okay, so 19 damage to him from a dopal, and then he gives temporary hit points to a whole bunch of people. Oh. Very nice. <laughs> Alright, guy, you are up. You are two up on the ladder. Alright, wait, do I end in my turn? Can I not end my turn? Okay, what what more would you like to do? I'd just like to move. Okay. I'm gonna I'm gonna actually move so you can get you'll be able to get there. Okay. So he's going to get an opportunity attack against you? And he gets a hit with a 26. So you take... I think this is the first time he's hitting anyone. Yeah. <laughs> Which is extremely, extremely disappointing for me. So he deals 20 damage to you. Okay, so this is where I'm going to move to. Okay. And then I'm going to do... Uh... I think that's it. I'm just going to tell Harry to jump on my back. <laughs> oh, yeah. Yes. Yes. This All should right. be the round that Harry's dumping slow, right? I think it's no. one more. Uh, one, one more. 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 Last one. We got the full four rounds, so but I think we might be counting yeah. around it. I guess it does. So. No, yeah, I, I put a marker. It's a, it's on round eight. Round eight. Yeah. Okay. All right, so Adokal takes 16 points of healing from Guy. Yeah, that's a minor action, and then I would double move, run action up the ladder, taking me seven squares up from the six that I needed, so I basically am up top. Yes, you are up top now. I'll just place my, my token there, so uh, it's okay. out of the way. I'm not in the water, then. Yeah. I help, I help Guy up the last little bit. Hold out a hand. Alright, Orc Drudge. Orc Drudge 15, where are you? I don't know where he is. He's in the water. Oh no, he's one of the guys that are supposed to come out of the tunnel yet. Okay, gotcha. So another Orc comes out of the tunnel. One, two, three. Four, five, six. And he will attempt the jump as well. So he'll roll strength. Who is he gonna charge? He is charging Osiris. Osiris? The... Osiris is on the ladder, isn't he? He's one he's on the ladder, so he's he can oh, the definitely. Jump would be there. He would be jumping in the water. He can't jump right here. Not with charge. Come on, it's not uh, 
Yeah, right there. He can't jump right there. Uh, no, because the movement from here. Okay. To here would not be a charge. It's not closer here. Okay. So he will. One, two, three, four, five, six. That's as far as it goes. Alright, Vigor, you're up. chat what, what? Fucking dead, dead. all right 15 damage damn very nice Cyrus, you look up and you see this snaking rope coming down towards you and Malagar's form at the top in the sunlight outside. Sweet. <laughs> and... and... I guess that's it. Alright. The female figure will come forward. One, two, three, four, five, six. She will... Let's see... She will curse Vigor now. And then she will make an attack on Harry with spiteful glamour. And she rolls an 11. That misses. Moving us to Orc Bolt Thrower 2. as fast as I can. <laughs> See a move With a 20 natural Ooh, hit, uh, critical hit, mighty blow. You do three standard crit, that. three standard critical Ow. hits to the target. Oh, I got the mighty blow. <laughs> yes, you got the, we got the mighty yeah. blow, guys. Yikes. <laughs> this is going to hurt. Okay, so there's one, two, yeah. and three. No. So the, the arrow punctures you in your back, laying, laying you low on the ground. And taking the breath completely out of you. Holy shit. And you are down on the ground, dying. Alright. Well, since I'm down, I'm gonna use my armor of wrath. Nope. Triggered action. I don't think that would apply. He's within five squares. What do you think? Uh, Divine Covenant, Covenant of Wrath. What is it? which one is this? Uh, Channel Divinity. It's a triggering. Yep. Armor of Wrath. Oh yeah, that would. Okay, so it's a react. Wait, no, it's a reaction. So reaction immediate oh. interrupts happen before the damage is resolved. Reactions happen after. So this wouldn't happen because you are unconscious, so you can't react. I'm dying. Alright. <laughs> so I need you to make a death saving throw. Oh, shit. oh 
No, what happens? Oh now? my god! <laughs> if you roll, if you roll a one on a death saving throw, is that an automatic death? No. No. Just okay. um, just a regular fail. Just a regular fail. Yeah, I was wondering about <laughs> that. Okay, I was, I was wondering if that was ever gonna come up, but. <laughs> He doesn't, like, die harder. Yeah. <laughs> okay. Just throw me in the water. So Harry fails his death saving throw. Oh, shit. Then we can move on to Orc Judge 16, who comes out of the tunnels as well. One, two, three, four, five, six. One, two, three, four, five. And that's all he can do. So we'll move on, make a roll, the water comes up higher, blocking off the farthest tunnel. Oh shit. So the one where the Everburning Torch is at? Yes. Now that torch actually gutters out now. All right, so up to Khaled. He is going to go to the foot of the ladder and kind of uh, wave everybody else on, like, hurry, hurry up. To Orc Judge 13. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12. So he can move there. Judge 11. Going to charge, or er, not charge, but he's gonna run up there. Oh, Cyrus, you're up. Kill this guy before I go up the stairs. Okay, so you're gonna have to jump down. Oh, do I have to jump down? You're, you're on the ladder right now. Right. Oh, are you saying I, I, I keep yeah, thinking I of you as a, as a me yeah, I keep thinking of you as a melee character. Okay, yeah. No. Sure. Yeah, All right, so I will attack. Dead. All right, and then I'll go all the way up. Okay, so it's uh, you can get to uh, seven up. So you you have uh, five feet remaining with your movement. Yep. Uh, so can I use the action point? Do you have an action point? Yeah. Go ahead. And then I'll climb the rest of the way up. All right, so you are at the top. I see how it is, Osiris. Is that your turn? Oh, yeah, that's right. Okay. I think we're just gonna leave you, Harry. <laughs> I thought I said you had him on in the back. It kinda, it's, it Push seems that way. <laughs> I was waiting for my turn. Okay. I'm not gonna do anything. So the hulking savage is going to... So, in order to squeeze, does it have to be in an enclosed space, or can he squeeze past, a, like, a flaming ball that's in the way? Do the damage. So, um, squeezing does two things. It reduces the size, mm -hmm. and it uh, halves your speed. Okay. So his speed would be two. No, he's just gonna run forward. Uh, go ahead and make an attack against him, Beaver. Already did the first damage. Yeah, but go ahead and make another attack. Just a D4? Yeah. So he steps forward trying to reach you guys, and he's just, he's been shouting curses this whole time and yelling. He, he tries to ignore the ball stepping forward to make it to a Dokal, the next guy that his sights are set on. But the flames course over his body. You have the floor, Vigor. Who's me? As the warrior steps into my ball, his <laughs> whole, his <laughs> whole body is starts. Lights are on fire. <laughs> he just burns the ground and falls off the ledge. And you just hear a big thunder at the bottom. All right. So, <clears throat> steps into the flames. The, they engulf him, and you just hear a, a roar, a deafening roar coming through as he falls into the boiling water. 
disappearing into the darkness. And it is your turn, Adoko. Can I lay hands on a dead person? Or is that everyone? Um, yeah, well, I'm pretty dead, sure. He's not dead, he's dying. Yeah, yeah he's, he's dying. just unconscious. Yeah. That is legal. <laughs> Big heels. <laughs> Some I'm, states. I meant in real life. <laughs> <laughs> That's a whole nother conversation. <laughs> so uh, I'm gonna I'm gonna lay hands on Harry. Okay. Oh. Cool. We'll leave it up to the dwarves to decide. You <laughs> <laughs> the old guy. Yeah, you did uh, that to uh, I didn't, all the other people. I didn't. Oh shit. Vigor, <laughs> Adoko, and Guy, you did it to everybody but Harry. Fuck you, Harry. <laughs> no. I could be a dick right now and say that that was it, but I'm not going to. He's dead, Harry. Okay, that's, that's not over. <laughs> so, oh wow, that's a lot of. I felt more than his hands all over my body. <laughs> then I'm gonna move. <laughs> okay. <laughs> okay. I'm just gonna die again. Better run, bro. I'm last in line. Well, you're slow to be done, right? Alright, let yeah, me, but, but let me fix all the damage that just disappeared. He gets a turn after all the enemies go. <laughs> so. Again, if you die. <laughs> okay, there we go. That was you. Is that a threat or a promise? <laughs> I think I think we are good now. All right, so guy, you're up. You're at the top. I will delay my turn. Okay. And we will move to Orc Judge 17, who looks in disbelief. This guy comes out of the uh, tunnel too, I guess. Okay. Hmm. Okay, I got this now. Okay, one, two, three, four, five, six. So he is going to charge Harry. And in order to move closer, he has to move to the closest square, so he's going to make an athletics check to make this gap. Uh, he rolls a 14 to get across a uh, five foot span. Is that correct? Uh, yeah, easily. Uh, to leap over five feet, you just, just need a five. Okay. Ten, for, to ten feet, of 15 to 15 feet. Okay. With so a running start. It's not a jumping running start. Jumping high is the difficulty, jumping far is not so difficult. Okay. Because I, I, I remember reading the rules for 5th edition, but I know this is 4th edition, so I'm not, <laughs> not entirely yeah, yeah, sure. Fine. Okay. So, he gets right here. He's going to make a smack on Harry's head. All right, that's 12, but you're supposed to be prone. Oh, okay. What is... Is prone a minus? Is prone a plus two when you're attacking? Uh, he gets combat advantage, so that would be plus two, yeah. Okay. So that is still not all. That's still not enough. Okay. Veger, right. you're up. I am going to throw. I don't. Have you thrown cloud of daggers one time? Not this battle. Amazing. <laughs> Damn. Moving up in the world. This is the door right there. Dude, it's Warp Masters. 
Okay. That is two hits. Very nice. And he rolls a one. Eight damage to both of them. And they are knocked prone. And then I'm going to sustain my... Well, it, it already... Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Your flame? Okay, I yeah. gotcha. Okay. So one, two. Like so so you, you you have to use two to get up the ladder, and then yep. you have four left after that. Yeah. So then I'll go four up. Okay. And that'll be my turn. All right. So we go to Malagar up on top on the surface. Also play my turn. Okay. The female will take some damage from Vigor's flames. And then she will. Hmm. Malcolm Mitt says they're both prone. They're not both prone with that of it. So in order to drop prone. What did we say that was? Was that a movement action or, or? Just stand up as a move action. Yeah. Okay, so it's a full move action, right? It's a full yep. move action. Okay. Unless you have acrobat boots or some level two uh, skill power, or uh, there are ways around it. But usually, yeah. Okay. Move action. Yeah. So she's going to stand up from prone with a move action, <coughs> and then she is going to. curse because she has a minor so she's going to curse um, Khaled the Paladin. She is going to attack Harry oh. with her spiteful glamour. And that is a miss. I gotta go to the bathroom real quick. Hold up. All right. Not allowed. Well since she's gone I'm thinking they might use knives of the soul to kill those two range guys before running. If anybody wants to help me kill this drudge. Oh, don't flame. worry about the drudges, they only do 5 damage. Um, no, yeah, my flame will kill me. I think they should just run away. Man, the bulk yeah, of just run away. Yeah, just run away. yeah, I suppose, yeah, if I can move around. Maldegar could look for a boulder or something that we could uh, roll on top of the, the hole to lock the yards in once everybody's up. Yeah, I just have to. I was just gonna have us sit on it. I still have this time to roll to work. I don't have any strength, so trying to move a boulder, not gonna work. <laughs> Then maybe find some stones that we can throw on them while they climb the ladder or something to make them drop them through the water or something. Start chopping down a tree and make it land on it. Have a Doku move this boulder. <laughs> oh, that drudge will die with the fire. Okay, I'm back, I'm back, I'm back. You're good. Welcome back. Alright, uh, Orc Drudge 18. This motherfucker. I'm on 18 okay. now? Yeah, 18 drudges. What did There's I roll? There's a 19 even. I forgot, they just gotta keep going. I forgot where he's yep. supposed to come out of. You know what, I'm just gonna re-roll it. I have to roll every time to see what tunnel they come out of. Oh. I forgot. Okay, five. <laughs> so this orc is gonna go right here. He's going oh, to step into the flames, which immediately kills him. <laughs> oh, yeah, baby. Orc Bolt Thrower 2 can take damage from you, Vigor. Do that. Do that bomber, baby. That daily power is so good. That's awesome. Alright, so one, two, three, four, five, six. 
And he is going to... Okay, so if you're charging and there is... An... Isn't he prone? Oh, yeah. shit. You're right. Oh, yeah. Yes, okay, nice. yep. Harry. That's what's up. Drink, so he's bro. going to step up from prone, <laughs> which takes his prone. movement action, <laughs> and he is going to attack Harry with his bow. Jeez, he rolls a two, a so that is a miss. <laughs> yeah, trip crit, triple crit. Okay, Orc Drudge 19 stays on the outskirts of the tunnel, seeing the uh, the orc right in front of him just died to them. So Harry, you are up. All right. I would I'm before that happens. I would like to take my turn after Orc Drudge 19, if that's okay. 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 Yes. I would um, runningly climb down the stairs three squares down, so he's in range. Then, as a standard action, use uh, the Healer's Mercy. Okay. <coughs> to give him some healing on the way. Thank you so much. All right. And that's a uh, channel divinity. Yeah. I'm alive. Channel divinity. Yes. Yes. Okay. And then take an action point. And run back up. All <laughs> <laughs> oh, I can do for you, friend. On your on your own. That's more than enough. All right, now it is your turn, Harry. Run, I'd like to take mine as well. Sorry. Right. Um, I want to start collecting between fist and head size stones and try to pile them up next to the uh, trap door. Okay. Oh, awesome. Harry, you're up. Okay, wonderful. All right, I'll start with my miner, and I'll use divine protection, so I don't trigger any opportunity attacks. Okay. And I'm gonna stand up and run towards the ladder. Well, wait, 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 wait. Standing I'm up. Prone. Yeah, from prone, standing up I is do. one movement. Yep. So you use your. Oh, you did, you didn't use your. Uh... What? Are you moving? Are you using another movement as in in place of your standard action? Yeah. Okay, and Good then. Uh, okay, so the thing about the dwarf is, um, if an attack makes you prone, you can immediately make a saving throw to avoid falling prone. But he was he became prone from being un unconscious from dying. Yes. So that does that doesn't hold any bearance on that. Okay, so, uh... Well, I mean, I have seen dwarves standing while sleeping, so... <laughs> <laughs> that's not... That's not... That's not because the dwarf is in control of its mind. That's probably the ale. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, standing up and then running was a good idea. So, yeah, standing yeah. up would use one movement action. You used a minor, so you still have a standard, or you could move. Yeah, and I'm just gonna run for the ladder and go up as far as I can. Okay. Just so the, one, so two, the orc judge three. will get an opportunity attack against you? No, I have my device. Oh, yeah, 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 you did yeah, say that. Okay. That. I forgot yeah. that. So then there's five, and I have two squares to move up. Okay. So you're two up on the ladder now. Well, you can't move past Osiris. Is he still on the bottom? Yeah, he's still on the bottom. So you are at the very bottom of the ladder. Okay. Well, in that case, I don't need to run. Okay. <laughs> okay. Where's Adokul at? Adokul right is just to the west of the ladder. This orc drudge will charge Harry. Wait, I gotta get this right. You can move first and then charge uh, easily. Yeah. I just want to make sure, because I'm, I've am i been thinking about this wrong the whole time. So I want to make sure to cement it in my mind. Alright, so he oh, is going to guy. move and then charge. One, two, three, four. For which he gets a plus one to his attack against Harry. And he gets a 16. So, tw or, uh, 26 to hit, I should say. He rolled a 16 plus his stuff. So Good attempt. Harry takes 5 damage. 
And we go to the top of the order again. I already came back from the dead. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I already came back from the dead. Water fills the second doorway. And no more enemies come out because that way is sealed. All right, Orc Judge 13. Uh, shies away from the flames. 11 can't do anything. Osiris, you're up. Can I help them up? Um, I mean, you you have the rope, but they're already using the ladder to climb up, so I don't know how you would help that. I don't know how you would help that unless they. I don't know uh, how strong you are. Yeah, I mean, they they could tie them. They could tie the rope around them, but it would have to be well, their I'll turn for I'll them to tie it. My turn then. Okay. Oh, oh yeah. yeah. He's on. He's on top. I'm already up on top. Oh. All right. So you're withholding. You're uh, delaying your yeah, turn. Yeah, delay my turn. Orc Judge twelve. Ain't gonna do shit. Doko, you're up. I'm gonna go up to the top. Okay. Veger is up four. Um. I'm gonna go up behind him then. <laughs> I'm gonna go behind him. Wait a minute, Harry. Who did I say was on there? I think Osiris. I said Osiris was, so I was actually wrong. So you can actually go up. My bad. Oh, okay. So I'll be right behind you. So, yeah, you'll be three. And no, then... actually. Well, I was I was running, so I'll just be up two. Okay, so you're up two. Okay. So then, Adokal, you can go up to uh, one can, on the ladder. Can I uh, do some acrobatics and get up on the first rung and then try to grab the rope? Sure. Go ahead and uh, so you go up, make me an athletics check to jump to see if you can jump as high as the rope. And I will say that that is five feet away. So that is sufficient. Now make me an athletics check to try and grab the rope. That is not sufficient. <laughs> 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 Which direction are you jumping from? Um, like, I mean, I'm, I'm on the ladder, so I'm jumping away from it. Okay, so uh, you jump up in the air and make a grab for the rope, but your hand goes wide, you are not able to grab it. So you actually land on the ground and you will take... You end up taking nine points of falling damage from that. Holy shit. It was a good attempt. Damn, bro. And you land bro. on the you land on the ground at the bottom of the ladder with a big thud. So I'm gonna try it again. Well <laughs> So so you used you used a movement and then you would have used your standard action in order to make that jump. So you have a minor action unless you have an action point. Okay. I thought it was all one move. <laughs> Alright, Orc Judge 17 takes damage from Veger's flaming ball. He steps in my ball and immediately bursts into flames. <laughs> he just does. He falls dead. Veger, your turn. I uh, just climb up. Alright. Yes, you are able to climb all the way up. All right. The female uh, takes damage from you for no, being in the flame. Huh? Oh, it went away? Okay. So we'll say that this is your little ball thing. So you, do you um, sustain your... Okay, gotcha. So the female, recognizing her imminent danger, one, two, three, four, five, six. Who can she get? Malagar's up top. Guy's up top. Harry's still there. Okay, so she's gonna attack Harry again. With spiteful glamour. Oh yeah, 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 yeah. You're right. Okay. So you are two. You're two up. And she's seven away, so that's seven point two eight. Uh, she can she can still hit that. Yeah. Right, because you're two up. 
I think I have yeah, that. Yeah. Yes. So that is able to hit you. She rolls a 25 to hit, which does hit you. That deals eight points of damage. And you are bloodied. Orc, orc bolt thrower is going to do the same. And he misses you. So as you feel this necrotic energy bite down on you once more, an arrow whizzes past your head. Malagar. Still picking rocks. All right. Guy, you're up. Uh, okay. Uh, so who's on the ladder currently? That would be Harry. Um, Adok Harry and. Just me. Is Dokul is at the bottom with Khaled. All right. Yeah, so Melgar was piling rocks there. Can I throw some rocks um, onto the the shadow female? <laughs> you are not able to see her because um, the ladder goes up into the ceiling a little bit, and then it gets to the trap door. So looking down, you would have to actually descend the ladder a little bit in order to see everybody. Gotcha. Well, in that case, I'm um, basically delaying again. All right. And we'll move on to Orc Judge 19. One, two, three, four, five, six. One, two, three, four, five, and six. All right, Harry. I won't stand in anybody's way, so I'm just running up to the top as fast as I can. All right. You are able... You can get up there with a double move. Yeah, okay. Right. So you're at the top. 16 is going to... At that point, I would like to take my turn. Okay. Oh, Harry. And he um... Oh, thank you. That works. All right. Orc Judge 16 is going to try to attack Khaled with his club and he misses and the water rises up Khaled grabs a dokel by the hand <clears throat> and shoves him to the ladder and he says get up boyo I'm right behind you and then he will we will move to Orc Judge 13 Two, three, four, five, six. One, two, three, four, five, six. Eleven's going to move right behind him. Osiris, you're at the top. Yep. You, you see a pile of rocks. Yeah, I see a pile of rocks. <laughs> <laughs> I'll keep a lookout for uh, any enemies. All right. So we'll move to Oak Judge 12, who... One, two, three, four, five, six. One, two, three, four. So we'll move right there. Adokul. All right, so you are able to get to the top. So everybody goes to the top except for Khaled at this point. And we will move to Vigor. Is there anything you want to do while you're up there? No. That is a no. <laughs> that is a no. <laughs> Alright, so the female. One, two, three, four, five. She will make an attack at Khaled the Paladin. She got a crit. Oh, goodness. No effect, though. Okay, so she deals 17 damage to him. Bolt Thrower will also make an attack at Khaled. And he misses. To Malagar. Uh, I'm going to take a rock and throw it at Orc Druid 16 from the uh, 
the trap door. Okay, so you you would be able to just see enough of him to actually do that. Um, go ahead and roll okay. a uh, uh, range basic base attack. Yeah. Um, being an improvised weapon, does that mean I take a negative two, or is it fine? No, it's uh, you don't get any uh, proficiency. That's all. Mm -hmm. Gotcha. Basically, just make a dex check. Come on. There we go. Ooh, that's a hit. Oh shit! I forgot to target him. That's fine. That's fine. That's a hit. So. Uh... Oh. You would roll a uh, D4 plus your dexterity bonus for damage. But it's a he's a drudge, so that does hit him. That does come. Okay. Seven plus one, eight. Yep. Right yep. between the eyes. Dome <laughs> with the rock. He looks up just to see a rock. It's <laughs> just in time to see a rock <laughs> dome him between the eyes. He goes down cross-eyed into the boiling water. <laughs> <laughs> All right, guy. <laughs> Yeah, I delay. I don't have anything to do. Okay. Or Judge 19. We'll run forward. Make an attack. It's Kaladin the Paladin. And he misses. Harry third leg, is there anything you would like to do? Yeah, I'll shoot Orc Judge 19 if I can. Uh, from that vantage point, looking down... Yeah, I would say that you can see him from there, if you're peeking through the hole. <clears throat> yeah, alright. I can... I will use Avenging Lion. Wait, 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 wait a minute. Uh, so he's Sorry, actually... Five. Yeah, he's he's 40 he's... feet down, so that's 8 square, so as long as your range is 8, you can see him. Yeah, okay, yeah, I can, I can shoot 10. Okay. Here we go. That is a hit. Dude, look. Oh, he whoa. is down. Okay. Yeah. All right. So, the last thing that you guys see is the form of the <clears throat> the paladin dwarf emerging from the top, and you hear screams and yells from coming from the uh, from the hatchback from the uh, hatch. You are all on the surface now. Thanks. And this is where we will have to end. Oh, wow, what an adventure. <laughs> <laughs> My god, was guys. Fun. This was wonderful. So we don't even get to hear them boil to death? Oh. <laughs> well, they screamed. You I want to come back through some work soup later. I prepped that fight so much, and you guys just shat all over it. Oh my god. I don't know. You hammered Harry pretty damn hard. Yeah, but I, the freaking brute didn't get any of his attacks. He had... Here, I'll, I'll fucking... I'll show you guys, alright? I will show you one of his attacks. So uh, let me see. Let me get next to me. Yes. <laughs> so I'm just gonna do this attack real quick, just to show you how fucking boss he was supposed to be. So he has this skull harvest, which is um, a close burst two. So this would get Adoko, Harry, Veger, Guy, Malagar from where he is right now. You know what I mean? <laughs> And it's twelve. It's a plus twelve versus reflex. So he missed a lot, but he does two to four plus seven damage. And then on top of that, he has his like champion scorn shit. So he would have done a shit ton of damage. To yeah. Yeah. It was good. We were running from the yeah. Start. Like hesitating and going back to yeah. the other horse down there. Not trusting cutting them off. No. You know, See, like, I, yeah. what, I, what I was trying to say is to get, like, somebody, like, a Doku to hold right here, and then, like, a couple of people to hold, like, this spot right here. You know, to bottle neck of It would have worked well until that big guy showed up. <laughs> that big guy. 
I don't know what it is about boss fights. The big guy couldn't fit through there, so he had to come around. I don't know what it is about boss fights, but I can't seem to fucking get you guys. Ever. <laughs> so along with that, you guys get a shit ton of experience points. Oh yeah. How much is it? 382 per person. Adokul, you are now level 5. What? What? So, we will end this session with you guys emerging from the hatch. Closing it behind you, securing it so that the boiling water can do its work and seal the nexus. You are able to take a breather on the surface, in the dirt, in the rocky, um, in the rocky environment. Well done. Congratulations. Yeah, piece of cake. Yep. <laughs> that was nice. Thank you so much for showing up again, guys. Had a nice long session, four and a half hours, playing D and D for one encounter. About time. <laughs> Do we, About time. Do we have a, a schedule for the next session sometime? I do not have one at this moment. Um, work is work is still pretty busy. Um, afternoons and nights are are very hard for me right now. I'm working six days, Monday through Saturday, so like the only day I get off is Sunday, um, and that's really up in the air. Like. My girlfriend's fucking pissed off at me because I'm playing today. But I told her, I was like, hey, I haven't played in like six weeks. Come on. But I will I will try to let you guys know as soon as I know when I have availability to play. Um, I know this really sucks for you guys because you were, you were planning on um, playing pretty consistently. And we were very consistent before. And then all of a sudden, my work got slammed. So I do apologize for that, but... Um, ah, no worries. I uh, yeah. just want to know. So, yeah, uh, I guess we can communicate over Discord, and that's fine. Yeah, that's that's. I I really have to play it by ear right now. Um, so yeah, I I'll let you know as soon as I know anything if I have any availability. Sounds good. So with that, again, thank you guys so much for showing up. I had fun. Uh, a long, grueling encounter did not go any way that I wanted it to or expected, but that's the way the dice roll. Worked out for us. Yeah. I don't mind doing very much, but it is what it is. Yeah, thank you so much to anyone that tuned in. I saw quite a few people tune in. Um, I had a great time. I hope I hope you like this. Let me know what you think in the comments. Let me know. Um, join my Discord. Join the, the Tavern League, you know. By any, by all means, give me a follow, give me a like. I got Twitter, I got Facebook, I got YouTube. Watch my my videos on YouTube. I try to uh, to uh, get a compendium of all these sessions. Thank you so much for tuning in. Thank you so much for watching. Peace.